Hello, everybody. Welcome. My... What's up, you bunch of dickheads? Yeah, you losers. Because this isn't YouTube. I can swear as much as I want in the first few yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch ass cunt motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we can swear as much as we want on YouTube, too. We're not monetized. Screw them. Don't forget, turn off your mouse. Yes. Once we start playing. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter at the moment. No. Alright, let me just, uh... Hello, two viewers within the ether. Hello! House, house <laughs> are the... Hello! 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 How are you? How are you? How are you? I asked you first. I asked you first. <laughs> just give me a second. Panda and I are playing... Dark Souls 2. If y'all want to swing in. Mmm, this music is so peaceful. <laughs> Beats Dark Souls 2 while unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> In the first day. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. There we go. So, I had to, I had to org. Hey, hey, Baldrick. Howdy, dooters. I am up way past my bedtime because I put too much water in my crock pot, and now I have to wait for it to boil down. Oops. Is there food in there too? <laughs> or did you just? put water in your crock pot and turn it on and now you're staring at it insanely because your sleep schedule is all weird now and <laughs> your brain isn't working properly yeah because I'm, I'm sitting here i'm like the first thing popped in my head was okay you're making beans okay beans. the first thing that popped in my head was well, why don't you just pour it the fuck out <laughs> um i had to i had to order an eight terabyte hard drive and I got a, I got a drive, like a, a swappable drive bay mm. that you can just like chunk. Um, because our VODs are now insanely large. Hello, Cobalt. Um, our VODs are now insanely large <laughs> and they very quickly filled up the remaining space on our, on that storage drive, which is a one terabyte drive. So I have worked out that on an eight terabyte drive, given our current file sizes, uh, we should be able to pack, uh, like if our file sizes continue to be as large as the last Dark Souls 2 VOD was, which was 75 gigabytes ish, <laughs> we can get like, 50 or so streams on an eight terabyte hard drive. Um, how do like the number of storage drives <laughs> all these professional YouTubers must have for stocking all of their shit? A lot of them probably don't. A lot this... of them probably post it on YouTube and then delete it. Honestly, we probably don't need to keep our our back catalog of vods like this, but. Well, see, I 100% picture Markiplier doing that because he's very much a man of nothing is permanent. Mm -hmm. So, like, he's he very easily be like, well, don't need this anymore. Boop. Hope nothing happens to that video. <laughs> right. You know, it's whatever. But I can see Pro Jared hanging on to his shit for a while. Uh, what do you like better? Uh, I think I like green better. All right, I'll take the strawberry apricot then. I hope it's not crap strawberry. For some reason, everyone seems to make strawberry taste like plastic. So. Nope, that's some good strawberry. Cool beans. Tastes like actual strawberry. Time for bestest pan to play. 
Yes. Um. Oh, wait. Crap. I'm gonna... Remind me to fix the chat overlay. Because I changed it for the Christmas marathon stream and I forgot to change it back. It's, ah. got, it's got the wrong font for the names. Well... Shall we div dive in? I suppose. Um, okay, switch over to game. <laughs> well, I have bad news. <laughs> Although, if we start now, you're getting way more stream time than I did. Oh, that's true. No, we go back to pregame for further conversation. <laughs> uh... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how well I'll play today because I have two ounces of gin in me. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I was pretty tired yesterday. Uh, so, get this shit in my body. I need I need to get our vods onto the YouTube channel. They've been kind of sitting there, but um, like getting them getting them re-encoded for uploading isn't bad there's you know like um like i have to i do a little bit of editing to take out the starting soon and any intermissions um correct any major issues i see why won't your cultist bang well i mean have you tried setting the mood at all like you know light some, some candles play some barry manilow <laughs> um but uh Honestly, the thing that holds the the thing that holds the vods up the most is the thumbnail. <laughs> like, because I ha you know I have to make a thumbnail to put up there, and I don't want to just like we used to do this thing. It. We used to well, <laughs> it's I I used to do the thing. I used to do the thing where I would just like stick the box art on with our like characters and then stick like a number two or whatever but nobody does that anymore yeah on the youtube everyone is like well again because while not strictly clickbait thumbnails have all entered into it's a form of clickbait because you look at because the thumbnail is your first impression of the video right and if it's just like Dark Souls 3, Episode 3. You know, and the thumbnail, people are going to be like, huh. You yeah. know, they have to be into you to be like, oh, I should watch that. But, you know, you throw in, like, some relevant information of what happened in that ep what happens in that episode. What we need to do is we need to get some, uh, we need to get some, uh, pictures of like face reactions like and you know <laughs> so that I can stick those in the <laughs> stick those in the thumbnail <laughs> uh, again do like Markiplier and friends and have just a few stock images that you just warp terribly in photoshop <laughs> so stick some googly eyes on them I've been looking at I've been looking at webcams to like upgrade because I feel like the next two things we need to do is we need to get a 4K capture card and we need to replace these because these turned out to be not great. Don't get Logitech stream cams; they're not great. We pay a go you know splurge a little bit more and get a Brio at least. They're 4K; they have better features overall. Um, they're not that much more expensive than stream cams. I'm not really happy with these. Um, for the price is the thing for the, for the price. I'm not super happy with these. Um, but like <laughs> we, we were super happy when we first got them, but that's because anything was better than what we had. <laughs> we got those like in the middle of like a webcam shortage and it was like the only thing that was available. But, uh, I don't understand the webcam shortage. It was just everybody in America getting becoming a Twitch streamer? And no, it was everybody in America had to work from home <laughs> because there was a pandemic, but nobody had webcams, apparently, so everybody had to suddenly buy webcams. <laughs> um, 
so so yeah but like I don't want to uh, I don't want to get the brios because I'm not super satisfied with Logitech and I don't want to spend 250 to 300 dollars getting like a, a little bit of an upgrade right um but like like what what is it that the youtubers use like you know the the big dudes they just use fucking straight up dslr cameras right like <laughs> film like actual yeah. film cameras that you could like take out and take pictures and uh, video you know those kind but those are like six hundred dollars on the low end um, but I did I did find that Elgato makes webcam style cameras that have DSLR grade features like the only so and they're cheaper they're like uh, it's like 150 bucks a pop if you want like the 1080p version we would want 4k so we'd have to spend about 300 so it's somewhere between you know bitch basic webcams like these and a DSLR it's like a mid range so you get like the DSLR features what you don't get is being able to take it places right right um but they would give us they would give us stuff like optical zoom uh better overall controls Hey, no, come on! Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the... Subscribe. Wow, 72 months. That's... How? Six years? Cripes. Yeah, because five years is 60, 60 months. Jesus. <sighs> so, so yeah, that's probably, that's probably what we'll upgrade the cameras to if we're able to is get those Elgatos because those look pretty good. The reviews are good. They have the right features that we need, um, but they are pricey, but anywho, I think we've, I think now we've been on long enough that we can, uh, we can get started with your portion of the race. All right. It is time for the adventures of Torpal. Let's go, Torpal. I just noticed that I was level 69. Nice. Nice. A useless flask. Stupid dog. <laughs> Where's the... Oh my god, it's so fucking dark. I mean, I suppose we could raise the brightness a little, given, like, go into the, go into the menu and, like, hit screen options. Uh, go down a couple notches. There you go, that should be fine. Because <laughs> it says flame visible and dragon invisible, but... I couldn't see the dragon on the right. There we go. You know what awaits you up here, right? Yes. Okay. Because these guys suck ass. Deck. <laughs> oh god, so much health. Whoa. So, Panda does not know what build he's doing. He's just winging it. Cobalt wants to know if it lets you power stance the claws right away. Cobalt is being helpful again. Come on. Woo! <laughs> Ow! I'm gonna assume so. I don't see why it I don't see why it wouldn't. Cause it's not like it's not like that's a skill that you unlock, you just Get claws and power stance. Watch your health. Whee! You don't even have an Estus flask yet. Please don't die before you even get to the <laughs> opening bonfire. Go there, get flask, come back. Honestly, I just wanted the thing. Okay. Where am I? Oh, okay. 
There's another item down there. Damn. I wonder how you get to that. I'm sure there's an easy path. <laughs> He's curious. Leave him alone. <laughs> It's crazy to me how cheap storage has gotten. That eight terabyte hard drive was only like a hundred bucks. Wait, how do you... I've been playing nothing but Elden Ring. How do you two-hand a weapon in this game? Uh, X button. Okay. I'm not sure why you would two-hand claws, but... Uh, let me just double check something. Needs more music. Wah! <laughs> Wah! Wah! Somehow Wah. missed that second tag. Also, everyone needs to appreciate my character. <laughs> I was telling him, like, you know who this dude His looks like? His hair looks like it's made out of clay. It took us a long time to get to good hair in video games like until just recently i have felt that the best way to do hair is just to model plastic hair and stop screwing with trying to make it look realistic because it never looks realistic and it always looked like trash i feel like final fantasy 15 was the first time i saw decent looking hair that like looked like hair Um... Why are you torching? Because fuck him. Nah, nah. Also, do you, pre do you appreciate the uh, Bloodborne style targeting dot that I got so you don't have that massive circle thing? <laughs> You are targeting this one. Do you understand? Like one of the one of the subtle things that I don't know if if viewers have noticed uh, that the new lighting engine lets you do is it lets you uh, tweak your user interface. So I've been able to make the UI smaller and tuck it over more towards the sides of the screen. Um. You, 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 yes. All right. So you can leave them all at once, but not as a stack. So leave them one at a time. But yeah, and then they'll exchange all of them. All right, what do we get? Twinkling tight knife. Nice. Twinkling tight knife. Nice. Yes, Shut up. Let me get my last thing. Channeler's trident. Okay. How do I? Uh, bah, 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 bah. How do I use the menu? Oh, I have a dagger. Oh, nice. Um, I need 11 strength, 15 dexterity to use it. You try to perform a power channeling dance, the madness of which boosts the morale of nearby allies. Interesting. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> I can do the wing, bang, wing, wing. Or whatever the fuck it is they say. No demon's great hammer. Well, I'm not sure he would use the demon's great hammer if he got it. Yeah, it, the strength requirements on it are kind of kind of insane far too high for me to even consider. Like, I'm not even considering going that high strength. Mostly what I'm considering doing is cranking survivability to ridiculous levels. Don't forget that if you drain your stamina completely, you get, like, tired for a while, and you can't, like, sprint. So you want to let go of this- you want to let go of the sprint button before you run out completely. Yeah, I know- I know that one. I've used- I've used the trident before. A multi-hit sweet spot at the tip. Yeah, it's like I want a multi-hit sweet spot at my tip. 
uh, get an echidna dick. <laughs> but make sure that it's cybernetic, so it's got like a little rotation point at the base, so I can just wee. <laughs> I can't wait for transhumanism when you can do that, and nobody needs to remind me about the cyberpunk. Uh, quest line where spoilers in three, two, one, the dude's dick exploded. You <laughs> the, and you have to like drive him to the hospital. Yay. He who king bearer for you will seek the there's once you so that I I would risk it, I'm just saying. <laughs> lest this Bear seek seek lest. <laughs> oh that's right, I took the I didn't take the uh I took the petrified something. I need to get I need to get our merch back up and running and I need to get the cttstore.com domain name transferred over to GoDaddy so I can actually use it. Bear seek C quest. Cause because I have a new t-shirt design uh that I'll be that I'll be as soon as we get the as soon as we get merch up and running again I have a new shirt design. It's, uh, I don't know if any of you guys have seen, like, the Magneto was right t-shirt, uh, that they did for a while. Uh, this one is gonna be in a similar vein, except it's gonna be Revali was right. Yeah, I got a shard. I got a shark. I forget where you get the key for that. Armorman. Oh, sir. That dude's cool. Wait, there's a ladder in here? What the hell? Yeah. A little chest to do. What's that in nice shard. I'm so mad about Whee! the. I'm so <laughs> mad about the bow. <laughs> I was hoping that you would completely miss it, even <laughs> as I'm sitting there pointing it out, so that when I started up and I got in there, I'd be like, "All right, let me just open this up. Hey, a bow." I would like a proper weapon, though. I don't like these claws. A shield would be nice, too. Mm. <sighs> I've been... I've been trying to figure out Patreon because I'm working on a comic that I have been told by several people that open fast they were they were like please do a patreon for this so I can give you money and I have based on the content and what I know about other creators in the same space uh, I'm reasonably sure that a patreon for this comic would be pretty successful but the rewards the rewards are where I struggle with Patreon um, because the problem I have is that a lot of the a lot of the standard rewards for stuff like you know for stuff like comics and whatnot are they're just a bad value like um, Because, like, for example, one of them is, like, early access, where it's like, you get our X, you know, th or, like, a week early or whatever, right? And that's, that's a good, that's a good get the first month, right? Because it's like, oh, cool, now I can, I can read these, like, there's an extra, there's a page that I can't read right now, but if I get the Patreon, I can read that page, right? But... After that, you get the same release schedule as everybody else, just, you know, a week sooner. Like, it's, like, it's offset by a week. Swing um, so it's like, it's a, it's a good value once, and then after that, uh... And... Um... So, like, there's, so there's that... Um, but there's also stuff like, you have to, like, like, you have to take piracy into account, 
because it's like when you say like oh you get exclusive access to this like if i were to say like you get exclusive access to high resolution pages right oh dude with the mustache that helmet is perfect i know <laughs> i'm like a fucking german kaiser um so it's like you get exclusive access to high resolution pages that's great right up until somebody posts it over on some other gallery somewhere which they always do and at which point either you just have to either as the creator i just have to accept uh that that's out there or i have to start playing whack-a-mole with other hosting sites right what? Flee, 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 flee. Um, and yes, it's it's pirate, but you have to treat piracy as a competitor. Um, it's an unfair competitor, but so is Amazon. You know, you can't you can't run a business and not consider. You know that people are going to say like, oh well, I can buy this cheaper at Amazon. You know, Best Buy has to know. Best Buy has to consider that you can buy only. Everything that almost everything that they have cheaper on Amazon. Um, so, like, yeah, piracy is an unfair competitor, but you have to treat it as a competitor anyway and figure out, like, how do you make what you have a better value than piracy? Like, hey, look, a feed. Nice. Get them. Um, don't you climb that ladder. Don't you do it. <laughs> um, and uh, I was talking about it with Soren, and like one of the one of the things she said was like, well, yeah, but you know, there are pe people will do it because they, you know, because they don't want to pirate. They want to support you, right? But if they if they could go and get those rewards for free and they're choosing to give you support anyway then they're supporting you out of the goodness of their hearts right mm -hmm. and if that's why they're doing it why why go to the trouble of rewards at all if you know that your supporters are doing it because they love you and not because they care about the rewards Right? That's a lot of effort for rewards that apparently you don't need to do because your supporters don't care about them. Um, which, that's an important consideration because rewards, you know, man managing a Patreon, Patreon, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, uh, that takes time. That's, that's, you have to, you have to put time into managing it and doing posts and, and all that stuff. Um, and then there are, you know, there, so like, then, you know, so then there, there are rewards that like, uh, so the, the best rewards in terms of, uh, the best rewards for the creator are ones that, uh, don't require, that don't require, you know, a lot of additional time, if any additional time, right? And the best rewards for the supporters are the best rewards for supporters are um ah. <laughs> Womp. <laughs> Put a limp dick punch. I um, can punch harder than you. You wanna try using the channelers? Oh no, you can't yet. You have to nope. Um The best rewards for supporters are rewards that uh they can't that you can't that they can't pirate right so like uh probably the one that pops to my mind the most would be like private streams where it's like i'll work on this art and if you're a supporter you get to come watch me stream it um which that isn't that's a i think that's a decent reward um because it's good for both the creator it's good for both me and supporters because for me it doesn't take that much time to extra it doesn't take a ton of extra time to do a stream i just throw on my i just throw on obs 
and hit go and then I'm working and then I'm and then the rest of it is like I'm working on it right um, and for viewers you can't pirate a stream you know like you can't go get the free stream for free elsewhere like so it's it's a good value um, Hey, you buffoon! <laughs> I'm over here! Um, but... In order to do private streams, I would have to... I'd have to pay for Picarto Premium. So now I'm paying money... So that... So, so now I'm paying money so that people will support me, which means... You know, I have to be pulling in enough off of the Patreon... <laughs> To justify paying for the stream, to pay for Patreon Premium, which it's not that expensive. It's like 15 bucks a month, so I'd have to be pulling in, I think maybe 20 dollars worth of patrons. But until I get there, I have to pay out of pocket. Um, it's just really, it's just really complicated. It's a whole other thing on top of it. And I'm not really sure how to how to run it. And I know, you know, uh, like Cobalt said, you know, people will stop doing it when it stops working. I know that just because, so, like, just because a reward might be a bad value, doesn't mean people won't pay for it. But I j I just personally don't feel comfortable selling something that I think is a bad product, you know? <laughs> what? Just do her Thou over ass! Um, that just, it feels, it feels dishonest, or dis, it feels dishonest for me to sell somebody something that I think is not good. Um... So... That's the that's the challenge I have with the, that's the challenge I have with the Patreon. Um, so I don't I don't know if any of you guys if any of you guys in chat are uh, subscribed to an art Patreon or you know somebody who's running an art Patreon uh, and have some have some ideas. Um, I'm I'm open to ideas and suggestions. the The main thing the main thing to bear in mind is that um, rewards have to scale infinitely. Like, I have a friend who publishes a web comic and he has a Patreon, and one of his one of his rewards was one of his rewards is that he'll do a sketch on a postcard and send it to you. And he now spends more time every month making postcard sketches than working on the damn webcomic. <laughs> and it's a source of major stress for him. I'm like, y you can't do that. It's got to be something that you could have. It's got to be something that you could have a million subscribers and still do it. Because otherwise you run into major, major issues. If your Patreon gets popular at all. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Hat for basically the entire run achieved. I wish you could get like, like round, round ass glasses. That would be amazing. On top of the monocle, and a top hat on top of the beret, and like, mustache extensions. Also, I never... I got Nesta's shard, and Is I never... Is that a shard? Here, to see I never gave However. it to her, to help me. Yeah. Please, this... <laughs> that is my voice now. <laughs> I am Mr. Phil. <laughs> Who's old Mr. Phil? And we'll level up. Your character looks like the dude from the I'm a Mac, I'm a PC commercials. <laughs> like, get get a close-up on him. Let, let the audience decide, I think. I can level up once, so... Strength! Yeah, but if I don't kill the armor, I might be able to get super fancy armor. 
And also, I'm not a fucking murderer. <laughs> except for the dude, except for the forlorn dude up there. Stab the fuck out of him. <laughs> He's not worth it. It's not worth the time. He drops something, but I forget what he drops. Uh, it was, but also, and I will, I would thank you to ignore that statement when I inevitably murder someone later. <laughs> Up we go. Fuck, I can't see it. God so what direction? Thing. So what direction do you think you're gonna go first? Are you going straight over to Giant and doing that r similar route to me? Or are you gonna um, switch it well, up? Well, I want to get into the back end of the Lost Bastille because hmm. I wanna uh, I wanna get a uh, steady hand McDuff opened up, right? Because he can he's the only guy who can do infusions. Let me in, damn it! I hear you squelching around. Oh, it was the lizard. Uh, neither of us have got- neither of us- I didn't get the way of the blue ring. Panda literally just started. But I'm not- but I'm not gonna get it because I have a ring loadout that I'm gonna be looking for. That I'm gonna be looking to try to get. There you are, Dick. Like, cause my ring loadout is I'm gonna want a. I'm gonna want a. I think it, it's the Royal Soldiers ring. I think. Maybe I don't know. I'm not familiar with the rings in this game. And I want a dragon ring. Yes. Uh. At least a second dragon ring, the third dragon ring, if I can get it. Um, I already have the ring of blades, and I want the and I want the stone ring, the one that reduces enemy poise when you hit him. I didn't get this lizard because I was hearing squelching noises, and I thought it was a man. So I was trying to be careful. I did not realize that it was this motherfucker already squelching around. Some nice titanite shards for upgrades. That dude only gave you Titanite shards. What a lame, what a lame crystal lizard. Yeah, he's covered in blue fucking magic crystals. And what did I get? I get, the, I get the minerals that he poops <laughs> from his diet. Uh, yes, Cobalt. I know, I know where they are. Ow! Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! We. God damn it, Braxton. Yeah. Why are Why are my notifications popping up up there. They should be on the bottom right. Yeah, that's weird. Sir. If I could face the right direction. Sir. Ah, he's not dead, sir! Sir! <laughs> be calm! Uh, <laughs> swings over. Just... You know, I'd say, what a dumbass, he's swinging over there, but my character swings in the wrong direction half the time, too, so I can't be too judgmental. Yeah, I've noticed that that seems to be a problem with this game. Movement is kind of... a bit jank. Oh. Pardon me, gentlemen. Gentlemen, pardon me. Pardon me. Oh, that needs like higher dexterity or something? Yeah. God damn it. Can mm. I put a dagger in my left hand? Can I parry with a dagger? Oh, I've got a hand axe. When did I get that? Uh, probably somebody dropped it. Maybe I should be using hand axe. And... It's kind of swingy. It's swingy, but the short sword is also swingy, but significantly faster. True. While but not does being, the axe deal more damage? Like, a, this is 100, and the axe does 135. Mm. So it's That's not, not, that is not an insignificant difference. Fuck, he does a four. 
Get up. We dude. both keep getting hit by the four. Well, in my defense, I haven't played this game in like five years. Wee! <laughs> Unguard, you giant Pokemon. <laughs> Charlatan. Charlatan? What was he faking? <laughs> Hello, sir. Whoa. <laughs> I'll follow you into the dark. <laughs> I'll follow you into my doom. <laughs> do, do, do. Are you just down there forever? What a pillock. Oh, do you want to pop up there and get the, uh, get the free Pursuer Souls? What? You explodey man. Get the hints. Wah! Wah! <laughs> Suddenly he's big on chasing me. Did he climb all the way up from back down there? Ow, ow. Stop stabbing me in the <laughs> face. Don't, don't. The thingy. I want the jam. I need the money. I need the money. What? Where did the... You're Where's my knife going? Into the wall behind you. <laughs> this game is trash. <laughs> Unfortunately, passed away when we couldn't remember his blood type. His last words to us were, "Be positive." <laughs> Shut up, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> that one harmed me. It's my birthday, and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> Papa Jum. So. Um, it's gonna be, I think, another, I think, depending on when stuff comes in, I'm not sure if Cleo stream will be on Monday. Uh, we, she, we're moving her, we're moving her streaming and set up into her living room. Um, but we needed to get some stuff. For her to do that that should be coming in soon but i'm not sure if it will be here before monday to do that setup so um if it is there will be cleo stream on monday otherwise there will be cleo stream hey dickheads next week. <laughs> problem solved <Whoa. laughs> Isn't there just being big uh, boy here? I, look, I know that it's frustrating for people who know the game well, but you you gotta let us be dumb. That that's part of the race. Oh, this asshole. Cause like, cause like, what happens? Like, you know, if you're giving us both tips, that would be fine. But like, what happens if? You know, you're not here for a stream, and then that person doesn't get your helpful tips, whereas the other person did get your helpful tips. Ow. No, I- I know, Cobalt, what I'm saying is... If we, like... We could just be like, oh yeah, you can give us all the tips you want because you're giving us both tips. But if you miss a stream for whatever reason, then whoever's stream, whoever's ra doing their race that stream doesn't get helpful tips, and then it's not fair. We we have to have we have to have the same capacity for dumbness. You must you must let us dumb. Wah. And trust me. I know how hard that is, because, like, I'll watch, 
when I watch people play, when I watch people play like puzzle games. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> when I watch people play puzzle games, I want to rip my hair out. <laughs> can one of y'all move to a so to a place where I can like fall on you and murder you to death? No. There, get him. Cool. Stop bullying me! Would you get off my ass? You cunk banana! Does this... Does this game have the slowest... Whoops. <laughs> Couldn't capitalize. Fuck this room. <laughs> Got the mail breaker. That's a parrying dagger, isn't it? No, it's a thrusting sword. Oh, you got a winged spear, too. Is it a thrusting sword? That's what it said. It's a very small thrusting sword. Wee! Do, 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 Ow. Do, do, do. You know what we, what we sh you know what we should get is we should get like a little very quiet just fan just to stick over there and point towards us just to get How some are you airflow. Still alive, you know? sir? Time for me to skedaddle. I'm gonna have to take off this cozy here. It, it's too cozy. It is aggressively cozy. What are, what are you doing? I'm trying to get over here. Just do the jump. Like, you, you can't do it that way. Why can't I jump? It You can't jump that way. That's not how you get over there normally. So if you're gonna... There you go. Did did you want to go up there or not? I, I want to be over here. Stop questioning me. Can I see anybody from here? Not that it matters. There's a billion guys in here. Let's deal with them one at a fucking time. They're, they're not going to let you deal with them one at a time. They're, they're, they are going to gang up on you. If you get to refill on the old health. Huh. I thought there was a whole bunch of guys on the stairs. Oh, they're all right here. Fuck! Bullshit! <laughs> I warned you! I warned you, but would you listen? Oh no, you knew it all, didn't you? <laughs> Shut your friggin' mouth! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. That, that was quite a ya. Yeah. Now, give me this. Aromatic ooze? Give me that ooze, I need it for my penis. It's no sticky white <laughs> stuff, but... Anyone out here? Oh no, the door closed. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? I shall go up this way instead. That was just, it was just physics sounds. <laughs> that was very wet physics sounds. Well, they're very moist. They're moist fellows. Yee! Oh god, my spine! <laughs> it's just a little bunny rabbit. Where? Oh, oof! Took me a second. Wow! I wanted to. My name. I just be careful. Oh, it allowed with luck. Good. Is he? Where is that dude? Is that dude in there? Oh, I never killed all these guys. I ran away from them. Shoot me! They, uh, they've abandoned their post. Cowards! They already did shoot. They shoot once and then they come out. 
Yes, like cowards. Abandoning their posts. Come here, sir. I'm over here. There we go. Right, Tim. Oh man, what? Stop swinging at their shields. He didn't have his shield up. He 100% did. How do you like it, you dumb? He didn't do anything to you. He stabbed me. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> he, he he set you up for a parry. Like, he, he set you over a parry, and then he had mercy. He did not! He kept stabbing me! He's just bad at parrying. I feel like you're just trying to set me up as a villain, because you feel lonely in your position. <laughs> Everyone was already criticizing you, like, what did you do? And you know I'm not going to be that evil. Phew. Why do I hear wind in here? That's a good question. Why? <laughs> yeah, what the- why? Knock, knock. Hello? This is very dark. Oh. Thanks, dude. How nice. How'd he hit me? What is hitting me? <laughs> I'm being murdered by things. Their range is much longer than you think. Anyone else in here? Oh, stop him. He's hitting the chest. Oh, it's a metal chest that'll survive. So, isn't that door locked? Yes. Oh, life ring. Yay, I got the ring. And a large titanite shard, very handy. Excuse me. I love that, like, Some, sometimes they real. have to, it has to, like, redo the physics. <laughs> and if they're a little bit weird, they're phys like, you'll walk into an area and you'll see a dude just kind of, ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to take off this cozy or I'm going to die. Hey, you. Oh, I should probably keep going this way and open up the shortcut while I'm here. Before I do anything stupid. Whee! Ah, my hands! <laughs> They're filled with splinters. <laughs> the craftsmanship on these ladders are incredibly shoddy. Aren't you wearing gloves? They don't cover my fingers. <laughs> Life jam, please. Oh, what? What terrible gloves then? <laughs> they're not the. They're not the best. Enough with your spears. Get stabbed. Yeah. So are you not gonna go get your free pursuer souls? I have a shield now. Ah! I have a shield now, Blake! Ah, the fourth is. <laughs> Why can't we ever. Re we can't count to four. <laughs> One, two, five! Three, sir! Three! Gumps! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's the same two attacks over and over again. <laughs> the fourth swing and then the falling over. Hamber herb. I don't think I need that. I thought this torch was a man for a second. <laughs> I was like, where did you come from? <laughs> Cleo was saying, I was asking her if she wanted to keep doing Draken or if she feels like that's run its course. She was like, no, we, I'll, I'll keep doing it. Uh, I was like, and we got to talking about like maybe like other stuff she might be interested in. She was like, maybe I could try horror games. I was like, we could do classic horror games. Uh, and she mentioned, she mentioned Clock Tower. I was like, do not no. Um, and I pulled up the I pulled up the one clip of me playing the game where it took over thirty seconds to walk across a room. <laughs> she was like, I'm not playing this. <laughs> but like, ow, ow. 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 <laughs> you, need, you need to get in earlier. You gotta think baseball. Start swinging before the ball leaves a dude's hands. Start start swinging before you're even on the plate. <laughs> Kill the vampire. <laughs> Attica! Attica! <laughs> <laughs> the Lethal Company stream was fun. I learned, I learned very quickly that when it comes to those sorts of games, I, I fulfill a very specific role in those, in those groups. And that role is... Like, I, th I feel like that role is best manifested, is best explained, uh, as with, with the action, uh, <laughs> you're done. Can you fall off, can you fall off, can you fall off cliffs in this game? For science! <laughs> Do I have any possibles? None I want to use up right now. Alrighty. Or like in the, uh, oh, are we getting free souls? Get your souls. There he is. There he is. And... There he goes. <laughs> There you go, enjoy your free souls. Ah, there's so many mins. Uh, if you weren't here for the last Dark Souls 2 stream, uh, that is that is a thing that can happen if you turn on one hit kills. And I wanted to demonstrate it because it's funny, but it also meant that I got free souls. Um, so, to make it fair, Panda also gets free souls. Apparently I can't be the computer guy. Because I uh, can't seem to repost him after I do that. Like I try to do it, and he's like too far away. But if I step in to do it, it's like too late. Maybe if I had a longer sword. Do 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 do. 
You know, I will say there is one thing you can get at Best Buy. <laughs> Just taking a break. <laughs> oh. Just getting some squats in. <laughs> there is one thing you can get at Best Buy for way cheaper than Amazon, and that's TVs. They just have better deals. Alright, go get some levels, I guess. That's, again, that's some DS2 overly strict requirements for something that in literally every other game they do, From Software has done was just hit him, press button. <laughs> it's like, you gotta be very close to him, but you can't be holding your stick in any direction. You can't hold the, you can't hold the, you can't hold the attack button down, but you also can't just tap it. You also have to be upside down with the controller up your ass. <laughs> Is that a shard? Here, to see Ooh, that's however- shard. What nice. did I get to shard? I don't know. Uh, if you want- don't forget you got the Ring of Blades. If you want to use it. I get five levels. Uh, one, two, three. And then... Excuse me. Four, five. Get me some more equip load. So erpy. Oh, I never opened this asshole shop for him. Oops. <laughs> I bought. Oh, hey, and I. <laughs> oh, soul. Name of a soldier. Free souls. There you go, Lennon Grass. Lennon Grass? What's his name? Lennon Grass. Isn't it Leningrad? No, oh, it's Leningrad. Oh. Ah yes, very good. Now, like, but first, let. You know, you might want to see a, you might want to see an, uh, ear, nose, and throat doctor for that deviated septum you have. What are you talking about? Very, very good. I can get back to work. What are you talking about? He sounds like a charming gentleman to me. You can sound like a charming gentleman and not be able to breathe through your nose. Mmm. <laughs> <coughs> Lemongrass. Put that on some rice. If I'm thinking of the right thing. <laughs> Probably no, I'm misremembering what lemongrass is, and it's actually a very poisonous herb. <laughs> Don't you make tea out of lemongrass? I don't fucking know. Do I look like some kind of person who knows things? <laughs> like how many hits it takes to hit this asshole? You could go upgrade your sword. Fuck that. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you how to live. Alright, I want to go down here now. Uh, you come at me, fool. <laughs> am I am I correct in my state when I say that? Because like I feel like Dark Souls Two characters have the weakest ankles. Like Dark Souls Two seems to really punish you for fall dam with fall damage. Ow! Did we ever play Donut County? No. I watched somebody play it, and that was really all I needed to do. <laughs> thunk, 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 thunk. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Ow. <laughs> Air is coming from every direction. Stop with the pokes and just die a horrendous and steamy death. Ow, my penis. <laughs> right, that was right in my dick. You are getting way of the poke to death real hard. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> a wee. <laughs> I wish I could make Nappa in this game. <laughs> oh, hey, Form, welcome. Glad Wait. to see you back. <laughs> I love this game. Yeah, coming back from... Coming, coming back to this from Elden Ring is a little rough. Like, I feel like Elden Ring, they've really perfected... Like, they, they've really fine-tuned the the 
Souls like formula. Like every every Souls like game going forward is going to be compared to Elden Ring, I think. A lot of games going forward are going to be compared to Elden Ring. Every open world game is going to be like, Elden Ring did it better. Ooh, an amber herb. <laughs> Your brother Elden Ring has a j dedicated jump button. Why don't you have a dedicated jump button? <laughs> I feel like I had a better idea overall of what was a safe distance in Elden Ring than in this game. This game, like, something something will feel safe and it will be actually deadly. Whereas with Elden Ring, if something felt safe and I was wrong, it usually was just like, oh, ow. Yeah, like, that, that was... A longer fall than I thought. My ankles hurt. Whereas this, it's like, oh, that was a lot. That that fall was thirty was like three inches longer than I thought. I am now dead. It's like here's a drop. Believe it or not, that hurt me. <laughs> I took one damage. All right. Man, when ah! honestly, tears of the when tears of the kingdom came out. I went to play it, and I'm sitting there comparing it to Elden Ring, and I'm, like, one of the things that Elden Ring did, that now I'm like, every open world game needs to do this, is it made it so sprinting is free unless you're in combat. Every open world game needs to do that now, because that's... That's perfect. Having to juggle your fucking stamina just to get from point A to point B sucks. Yeah, the, the torrent is janky in general. I love the torrent speedrun strat, where you summon torrent, and then you reload your game, and then torrent plummets to his death, <laughs> and then you reload again, and now torrent can fly. <laughs> I only need this one. Get, get, really? You didn't want to get beefy man I only need this one why what what is the point of this what because <laughs> he's a fucking bitch yeah but it's not like you get bonus stuff if you only summon one the bonuses are the friends I made along the way but you made less friends <laughs> but better quality friends Three. The boss has less health. I don't believe you. Ow! My face. Get squished. What the fuck? Hex! <laughs> enemy... The enemy hurt boxes in this... In Dark Souls 2 seem really... Janky. Like, I got killed... By the Duke's dear Freya... At one point. Like, she was doing this, like, stomping thing where she's like, chonk, chonk, chonk. And I got killed. That stomp got nowhere near me, and it still killed me. What the fuck? Why is the summon sign still here? <laughs> You've completed your duty, sir. By that, I mean I didn't require your services. Get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> so, like... You know, or another thing, another thing in Elden Ring, uh, another thing Elden Ring did uh, that all open world games need to do now, because there's no excuses anymore that FromSoft showed that you can do it, is not have copy paste, like, you don't just throw your fucking world map into a world map generator say random trees and call it a day like you have to make your world feel like you put some fucking effort into it Ubisoft or even uh, hell even Skyrim like I, I went back and played Skyrim a while ago and I was just 
walking across the world and a lot of it has that feel of just like they said generate trees and called it a day um well, I'd like some more throwing daggers please buy 99 of them buy all of the throwing daggers and a few more firebombs now try not to throw these ones into walls And just a ton of these. Little schmevels. <laughs> um, uh, Cobalt says, and this is a mechanic, so I don't think it's a. I'm not gonna be. A, I'm not gonna be mad. Um, shades are the smaller summon signs and are only for bot. Or, or no, sorry. Uh, phantoms are big summon signs and are only for bosses. Shades are smaller signs and can be summoned whenever, but they only last a few minutes. Yes. FromSoft has always been fantastic at showing detail and care in how they craft their environments. To an extent, all of the Dark Souls games, I think Dark Souls 3 was the best at this, but it still had a few places like this, but all of the Dark Souls games are guilty of uh, the big empty room where it's like you go in and you're like like you go into a castle right and there's this massive room with nothing in it and you're like why is this here what was this for <laughs> like there's no tables here there's no decorations there's no chairs there's nothing here what was this room for okay like, okay i can some for uh you know for for uh, the boss fight room that never was, yeah. <laughs> for a uh, for a company that seems that people give so much credit to, for being amazing at lore, they sure have a hard time fleshing out areas with basic greeblies, you know. Um. Oh, but they did they did a lot. Like, they did a lot better with that, with Elden Ring. Elden Ring had a lot of shit pretty much everywhere. And it made it made the environment feel a lot more alive. Yay, yeah, got a boner. Come, Al Al Alphys. <laughs> yeah, like, I know, I know that it's hard and it takes time and resources, but like... Nothing makes your video... Jesus Christ. Nothing makes your video game feel more video gamey and less immersive than a big empty room. Right? Like, at least this room here has some, like... Crap. Barrels it. and boxes, so you could be like, oh, this is kind of like a storage room. Kind of a thing. We could go over there and murder him to death. But like, with as your magic spells. As an artist who who works in comics and visual storytelling, right? Um, Atlas. <laughs> I tried to warn you. There you go. Um. Never get her, buddy. As a, as an artist who works in comics and visual storytelling. Um, like, to make a, to make an environment feel, like, alive and real, you have to just fill it with crap, right? Like, if you're, if you're draw if you're doing a picture of somebody's bedroom, it has to be loaded with stuff. Like, you at home, just uh -oh. pause, take a look around your room, and take note of how much junk is there. Right? <laughs> Oof. Poor bastard. Oh, wow, that actually didn't do... Ah! Oh, dear. Where's your guy? He's over there getting his ass handed to him by... Ow. 
Whoops. Fuck my ass! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, just take a look around your room and just take note of how much just junk is there from stuff that gets left. Um... And there's a there's a good rule of thumb that I use, there, or there's a there's a good method that I use for populating an environment with stuff, and that's like put myself in the headspace of the person who lives there, right? And then ask my and then just be like, okay, what did this person do today? Like, what did they what did they do? What did they use? And then whatever it was that they used. Just leave it there. And the more messy or untidy you want a person to seem, the more days you go in that process adding stuff as you go, right? So like, one day, so like thinking about like, what do they do for like one day you might be like, okay, so uh, they played video games, all right, so now you leave, you put a controller somewhere, right? Uh, they had, uh, they had a meal, stick a plate somewhere uh they had coffee stick a coffee mug somewhere um they put on their makeup stick some makeup stuff somewhere um they browse the internet on their laptop stick a laptop there right and you just you just do that and fill up the space um and then like i said to make them seem messier, just, okay, so all that happened, what did they do the next day? You know, and then what did they do the next day? And you just keep going. And that really helps to, that really helps to fill out, uh, that really helps to fill out an environment. Dude, you just fucking wrecked a skeleton. I honestly didn't know you could backstab a skeleton. <laughs> I mean, skeletons got backs. That's true. <laughs> and whilst you sneezed so maybe before you go over there and deal with that dude you should deal with all these other dudes that alpha that Aphlis could get distracted by he's not very good at getting distracted by anything right now apparently Here comes Smashy. All right, Aphlis. <laughs> Go get him, Aphlis. Aphlis. Go get him, Aphlis. <laughs> there he goes. This seems like a bad. This seems like a place where you're gonna lose Alphys, Alfie, real quick. He roll back and. Push Alfie, Alfie off the edge. Yes! Oh, well. Um. I guess just hang out and let him do his thing. Have fun. Well, I. Don't kill make, the don't make this mistake. Um, again. that's why. <laughs> yeah. Because he came down here. He went up there and pissed them off and then was like, nah, man. Here they come. Hey, Alphys, you wanna fix the mess you cause? Oh, he's he is 100% dead. He's about to get thrown into oblivion. I'll help you, Alphys. I'll help you. No, don't come this way, Alphys. <laughs> oh, that actually did pretty good damage. Alphys, eyes up. <laughs> God, this dude sucks. <laughs> okay! Alright, victory achieved. Some gauntlets. To helm. Alright. Is everyone upstairs dead? I don't want to go back up there. <laughs> you caused this mess. <laughs> it's scary up there. Get the things. Get the things. <laughs> wow. 
Bot Spot went nuts. Yeah, all of the rooms are absolutely jam packed. Elden Sturberger really took it to the Sturberger Esterberger. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, Aphlas. Shall we do this correctly? Quick, grab your Three. Here he is. <laughs> Alphys, what are you doing? <laughs> He's having trouble. Fine, we'll do it in here. <laughs> We're waiting, Dennis. <laughs> On guard. Here I come to save the day. Hey! <laughs> what the fuck? What? Alphys! <laughs> 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 uh, why did he leave? I think they're. I think they just have a time limit. Then it shouldn't say task complete. It should say out. It should say, "Oops, there goes Elphis." <laughs> Oops, there goes another Atlas. I'm leaving. You can't stop me. <laughs> they come back. No. They're supposed to be doing PVP. No! <laughs> Stay away from me. I can't be stopped. I don't think it will let you bonfire until you defeat him. Well, then he can come up here and fight me. Yep. Real heavy. 78.1. Blark. Those, those are really heavy too. <laughs> but I do want to use that. If he disappears, it'll tell you. He's just off in the distance somewhere. Well, fine. If you don't want to fight, I'm just going to sit here. Oop, there, there he is. Are. Chump. <laughs> don't turn your back to me. Knife. Knife! <laughs> Knife! <laughs> Knife? Yeet until you beat. Beat until you yeet. <laughs> I'm out of yeeting things. <laughs> we appear to be at a standstill. What the fuck is that, Dennis? When are you gonna run out of spell uses? Just get in there and get him. Run out of spell uses! He has a lot of spells. There you go. Get out of my face, Dennis. <laughs> See? Easy peasy. <laughs> no more eatables. Thanks for the human effigy you made me use. What kind, if you could, if you could buy, if you could go to Target and buy Yeetables, what product would Yeetables be? Uh, a snack. And their whole gimmick would be, throw them into your friend's mouth, and then they would get banned. <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you play this game in a very weird way. <laughs> like, you make a lot of decisions that I find questionable. <laughs> like, here's some dudes I could attack. I will instead fly away to victory. <laughs> the snack you can throw at your friends. That sounds very 90s. It's the snack you throw. 
Well, that did not work in my favor. Whee! Just pop a jam. I just me. noticed you have 70 life gems. When did that happen? How are you still alive? <laughs> <laughs> the mascot is a frog with a pitcher's mitt. <laughs> Why a frog? And the frog has a huge ass. <laughs> Small, fun-shaped foam toys that are easy to throw and make a satisfying sound when you hit something. Whoa! They should splat. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yeetables... Yeetables would be foam balls that absorb water. So they'd be like reusable water balloons. Edible. <laughs> I stand by the fact that they should be eaten. <laughs> And they should be shaped like little characters. Like a little <laughs> goblin looking motherfucker. <laughs> you're like, you yeet into the wall and it goes, Pfft. and you run up the wall and you're like, oh. <laughs> oh, what if they were, what if they were like squishy splat things that stick to, that like stick to the wall, but they have like faces on them. So you throw them like really hard and they splat and go squish out and it makes them look all funny. <laughs> Get burbed. Bird up. I do like in Dark Souls when you go to the first ne when you get up to the first place out of the undead asylum or whatever, and the bird comes up and it does that like slow motion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's pretty like, sick. What the f <laughs> like you? Because it's especially if it's the first time you played it. Yeah. So like you just <laughs> finished the boss <laughs> and then it's like. Very boss looking moment. <laughs> Fight crow boss. You're like, I don't know, please. Have mercy from software. Toys being made from different materials, so they make different satisfying sounds. Ooh, I like that. Like a loud slap or a, the no that noise an empty can makes when bounces off someone's head. Or Specifically, their head. Or knocking a coconut. Of course, some <laughs> materials it's like, I wanted, I, this material makes the sound of, this material makes the sound of, uh, plaster being crushed. It's made of solid steel, and you throw it at a wall. <laughs> Just, go the other way, sir. You see nothing in this general direction. Please, leave. <laughs> I'm hungry. Was there dinner? Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's a weird thing that Dad made. It's like... It's like a tomato and... Italian sausage... And various other ingredients. Soup? Mm -hmm. And then you pour it on top of these little, like... Orange... Patties that I don't know what they are or what they're made of. Interesting. And I will say, the soup itself, I was like, this is too tomato-y. But when you actually eat it with, like, the little patties, is a very tasty combination. Oh, this seems dangerous. <laughs> I can't see him. But maybe my arrow will get there. <laughs> that was that was some of the most busted AI I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, that was some of the most busted AI I've ever seen. It exploded down there, and I was up up. I was had covered the floor. Why did it still hit me? You know, hmm. it's bullshit. Yeah, it's all. Squints. <laughs> what do I hear whispering? Okay. The do 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 do. Do I stand do, my ground do, and do, fight, do, 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 do. or do I try to get the thing and bail? Is this a pursuer fight? 
Get the thing in bail. <laughs> there he it is. is. A pursuer fight. Except this one is worse because it's got like dark magic. Uh, he's very parryable. I'm terrible at parrying. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but Panda's been getting stabbed a lot. Goodbye, sir. Now, will he come back if you go out there, or did you just fail that fight? I might have just failed that fight. I can't remember. Like, one of the fights gets you, I think, a good ring if you kill him. But I can't remember if that's I mean, one you of did them. get the ring of Fuck. blades. Fuck. From the other fight. Fuck. <laughs> you do have the Ring of Blades. I do. Oh. Well, this asshole's gonna come over here and bother me while I'm trying to do things. If you rest at a bonfire, you can fight him again. Oh, okay. Alright. So keep that in mind for yourself if you ever want to fight a pursuer for whatever reason. But I don't remember if that if killing that pursuer nets you anything actually good. Hello, Luke Deal. What is it? I don't know, don't be a bitch. I don't I thought you go. Eat, uh, ooh, uh, eat, uh. Okay. Say ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla walla, bing, bang. <laughs> ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. And then he shrunk my head. <laughs> Antiquated key. I forget what that's for off the top of my head. Alright. What if I were to just <laughs> go up here? See, I'm yawning because I'm hungry. I've never heard that before. <laughs> it's because my body doesn't have energy. Like, mm. I, I need food for... I need food for... Uh, or, my body doesn't have fuel. I have energy drink in me, which is... Kind keeping of... Keeping me awake. It's kind of fuel, but it's fast-burning fuel. Like, you will go through that rapidly. Well, what it's doing is it's keeping me awake, but I'm awake... And fatigued. I need food in me to provide the fuel that my awakenedness <laughs> is. So you're demanding. yawning, but your eyes are incredibly wide while you're doing it. <sighs> so you Which, if like you a didn't, crazy if you could, yeah, if you couldn't hear the, if you couldn't hear the <laughs> sound of me yawning, you'd just see me going. <laughs> and you'd be like, oh my god, he's insane. <laughs> That's right. Come over here. And shit! <laughs> Ow, my health! Lucatil, help! <laughs> Your aid, if you please! Think careful, they will just kill her. Aye! <laughs> oh, you can come in here, can you? That was your last mistake, you fool! So, when when he hit you with that last attack, like I was, I'm watching your movement patterns as he as he winds up with the most telegraphed attack of all time. Was your objective to tap dance and hope that that would cause him to not hurt you? <laughs> Why are you being so mean to me, Tanta Ernest Borgnine? <laughs> here sir don't you fucking dare do the thing that you're planning on doing come over here why are you being such a shit lord right now i am here yeah god just let me do now please barrel physics havoc do not fuck me right now yay just hit the wall <laughs> I hate this Wee. game. <laughs> like, why? And I'm out of fucking fire bombs. Fire bombs won't open it. No, but fire bomb the barrel's still here. Well, so I could blow it up if I had some fire bombs. And if this dog's corpse would stop blocking the barrel. I believe that hitting it with your sword will detonate it. 
So you could <laughs> just... It will also detonate me. True, but then it will be open. <laughs> Physics, please. <laughs> how how fast does it have to go? That is true. Maybe I could just. Oh no, it's it's, it's over. It's, it's like it's, it's too like. Late. It's, do I have anything? Uh, you have those magic urns. Those might detonate it. Maybe. Let's find out. Please explode. Oh, I can't tell if that hit it or not. No. <laughs> Magic urn! Oh, he, you have a torch. Yes, I have a torch. Of course, that would blow him up. And I'm not sure I can survive that. So I guess we have to go all the way back because this game's physics engine was made by a local fiend with his own three hands. <laughs> Now, I don't think there's actually a way to do get back there in the base game once you come over here. Because it's like, you know, again, stupid Dark Souls logic. Can't climb half a foot of rubble. That's what I said. As long as you don't hold forward, you don't roll. <sighs> Back to my jewel. <laughs> I really should just be buying a ridiculous quantity of firebombs. I also could use a better shield. Go home. <laughs> Go home? Put it in your mouth. Excuse me, miss. I'll try to say anything. He's going to try it again. He's just getting a backup option in case it fails again so he doesn't have to constantly... Give me some more knives. Damn, Oops. those are expensive. Oh, I should see what, uh, if maybe Armorman sells better armor. He, or... He gets new armor options when you, you beat dudes. Mm. What the fuck? What? Well, like, that loud wind sound started happening, but it was accompanied by the screen shaking. Bears. I was like, Seek is the dragon Seek about to come Seek down? Seek. What's happening? <laughs> or I could just get more equip load and keep getting more equip load and more equip load <laughs> and then wear that goddamn armor. I don't think there's any point at which you will have enough equip load to wear that armor without fat rolling. Like, that armor is I will tank all the hits armor. Where are you going? What am I... Bastille. Brain. Please. Excuse me. I will give you this tip. Okay. The armor guy, if you... Give him Wait, a lot which of armor guy. The guy who you said was cool. The dude who sells stuff as you Yeah. As you beat bosses. Yes. What about him? If you give him a bunch of money, like you know, spend a certain amount of money, he'll start mm -hmm. getting more and more confident. Eventually he'll enter what is called swagger mode. Where he's like basically sitting like this now because he's <laughs> rich as fuck. And if you get approach him with zero souls he gives you the true form of the Aris armor set oh which is incredibly good armor that doesn't really weigh anything interesting ah, ah why <laughs> with your tracking bullshit Do, 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 
Well, then, see, he was listening. I think we shooshed you. Yes, but that doesn't mean that we didn't... Wait, you... Yeah, but these guys are going to come bother me. If, if I don't deal with them. Um... Come over here to your death. Hey, thing. I'm having some trouble. Wait. <laughs> okay. What's what's the plan here? Just come back up here to this nice arena, please. I'll break that too. <laughs> Just in case. And this. And that. <laughs> and this. Swing, stab, slash. Ow! My flesh. Perfect. If it makes you feel any better, Cobalt, I'm pretty sure that as we, as... <laughs> ah! Oh dear. Oh, well that wasn't bad. If it makes you feel any better, Cobalt, I'm pretty sure that as Panda and I are watching each other and observing each other's gameplay decisions, we also are going... <laughs> Why? <laughs> See, I hate that guy. Like, he just doesn't walk towards you at all. So when hit the very first attack he tries to do, <laughs> there's a very good chance he's gonna just maybe if you swing and blow it up. Maybe if you hit him from a distance. <laughs> that was just nice Luigi jump. <laughs> So you're gonna have to travel and come back because the barrel won't respawn. Like, you have to reload the whole area. Um, because, like, I'm watching, I'm watching Panda's combat choices and being like... <laughs> and Panda, I'm sure, is watching me be utterly lost <laughs> and being like... Ah! <laughs> why, where are you going? <laughs> Like, but I want to go to the Lost Bastille, he said, going to the Shaded Woods. <laughs> he said, wandering through the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> it's this way, right? Uh... <laughs> Swing and a miss. Just die. Get out of my fucking face. I should buy a bow. <laughs> you have a bow. I do. Didn't you open the chest in the... Oh, I do. I also have a crossbow. Which... I can't use the bow. But I can use a crossbow. Do I have any bolts? Oh, the crossbow doesn't scale at all. Yeah. I got some wood bolts. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> you entered the seventh circle of hell trying to get a snack from your kitchen? I'm not a clever man. <laughs> That sounds about right. Oh. Hey, cool. Come over here. She's gone, right? Okay, good. Looks like it. Alright, come in here. And we shall do battle! And he lights the wooden floor on fire, and you all plummet to your death. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if that happened, I'd be like, well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> but also, fuck you. <laughs> now, if I just... Not so, he's... Dude, this is so cool! The wood is burning! <laughs> if I just take it easy, will they? If, if I may suggest, perhaps if you hit this dude from a distance, so that he doesn't swing immediately. Okay. So, two hand the two hand the crossbow is how you aim it, apparently. Fuck. 
Over here, nerd. Oh, the wall! <laughs> I hate that mechanic so much. Okay. Like, it's utterly unnecessary. How does that make the game better? Now just roll down there. Just go straight. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! Yay! Now just don't go. forget, don't forget, uh... Don't, f don't forget doggos. Come here. Stupid dog. Finally. Yay, victory. Boosh. Light torch. Light lamp. Rest at bonfire. All right. Why don't we take a why don't we take a quick break so I can I must pee and get food. Why don't you pee and get food while I keep playing? Why don't we take a break? Because I don't need a break yet. But I need a break. Take night shark. Heavy bolt. Iron arrow. I need, I need a break so that I can go do biological things. <laughs> I don't play the game. I sit here and chat with you guys. And then Panda comes back and then I re and then I join the game again. But fine, you're on your own. Piece of shit, I'm gonna... <laughs> Finally, chat, we are all alone. <laughs> hey, Cobalt. What's a good weapon to apply the poison buff to? That's such good armor, though. that armor but I need wait you can put the poison buff on the Chandler's trident oh I guess so for some reason I thought Chandler's trident had magic on it all right well I need 15 dexterity for that Alrighty. And yes, if you weren't aware, Cobalt, <laughs> and anyone else in chat, me finding that ironclad armor was part of the plan. <laughs> I just need the, endur the endurance. Seek, seek. <laughs> I need the vitality yes, to keep hold to keep using it. But I need crazy vitality. I didn't think it was that heavy. Why don't I have S's Flash? Going full turtle. It's kind of why I got this hat, because this hat increases item drops. Which is good to have in general. Let's go explore... in here in this weird weird ass room who who has giant books like that Pharaoh's lockstone yes beautiful how do I get upstairs there we go full turtle Link. Toit Knight Shore.
pigos. All right, well, I guess I'm off to the land of the big boys. Oh, there's an item up here. Ah, yes, the room of infinite skeletons. <laughs> and also, I uh, came come to find out, like I never knew what that room was for. But I mean, when I first played this a long, long, long time ago, and I come to find out, oh, it's for the. It was a place where they could give like fancy rewards, like every week or something. Do 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 do. Walk up them stairs. Walk up the stairs. Go up the stairs. Do 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 do. How many discs did you get? Two. That's how many I got. I wished I had gotten more. I don't know, I don't know what these discs are. Yeah, I don't know, cause they look like they're made out of fruit. <laughs> I taste it. It tastes kind of cornmealy. But other than that, I don't know. Alright, where are we? Heading towards land of the big boys. Well, big boys and dragon men. Chonk, chonk. Because fuck the best deal. Hmm. Still would like a better shield. Thanks for the broken sword. If you guys can hear like gross mouthy chewy sounds, please let me know. I will I will address. Oh. But honestly, none of them can stand up to this pure thickness. <laughs> No pants. <laughs> no pants club, let's go. I got some... Wait, now hold on. <laughs> How are these busted soldier gauntlets that clearly have no hands give more defense than these intact gloves? Uh, it's a morale boost. <laughs> Like, look at that. One hand has no armor on it. And it's the hand that's not protected. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. You know it would be a fun Dark Souls challenge? For I feel like most people is left-handed mode. Oh. Put yeah. your sword into your left hand. Easy peasy. Ooh, old knight armor. Now is that heavier or less heavy than the old ironclad armor? <laughs> 16.4. It's less heavy. <laughs> um. Oh, sir. Hey. It's okay, you just go do your thing. It's fine. I got fired today, so I'm just, I don't know, I'm not feeling very good. Oh, well, keep your chin up. I'm sure one day you'll get a job. And you also, look like a boy who has a lot of talent. Also, my mom died. Well, I can't help you with that, but you have my sympathies. <laughs> Lord knows that I've lost all my family. Plus, I've got athletes, but... Oh, Jesus Christ, mate. <laughs> You're surrounded by water. It's just kind of a bad day. Anyway, thanks for listening. I'm sure there's an ointment for that. <laughs> wow! That backswing... Th we. <laughs> Imagine if you... I were wanted your items, you buffoon! <laughs> Imagine... <laughs> Imagine if you went to a therapist and you were like, so I'm just, I'm not feeling very confident lately. I lost my job and, you know, my boss kind of ripped me a new one before he's t 
told me to go home and not come back. Good night, Bulger. And she's like, I'm pretty sure there's no ointment for that. <laughs> Have a good night, Baldrick. Thanks for hanging out. Are you gonna... There we go. I'm not sure how I feel about these discs. I like them. I thought they... I an item. Goodbye, friends! <laughs> like, they're not adding a ton of flavor, but they are adding texture. I, I do think they added flavor when combined with the rest of the soup. And the texture that they're adding is moosh. <laughs> well, I like that. I'm sorry that you have bad taste. Maybe if it was warm. Why didn't you put it in the microwave? Because I wanted to get back to the stream. And, and join my friends and family. I'm just not gonna fuck with you, bye. <laughs> hey, wait, come back. No. <laughs> Why should I? It's not fair. Get back here. Your mother's not fair. I am concerned that you're gonna get, like, get caught in a fight up here somewhere, and then they're going to, like, suddenly appear. <laughs> Why do nights suddenly appear? <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Why? Oh, here they come. Cool. Oh, it's only one of them. Yeah. Nice. Part what? of my mess. Nope, he's turning around. But part of my master plan, you shall not escape me now. Um, excuse me. Dude, you swing your thing. You've resumed your station. Watch out for the other guy. What the fuck? <laughs> Be gone, thought. Imagine being in like in like a duel with somebody, like a fencing duel, and he takes a wide swing, completely misses you, and then he's like, "What the fuck? <laughs> How did that happen?" Be dead. That was pretty good. Boom. Like I said, the soup on its own was like super tomato-esque. Like, tomato to the nth tomato. I like it. I could eat it on its own. But like, when I added the goop. If I had some, if I had some pasta. Nerd. Let's do battle over here. Watch out, because this dude can parry the hell out of you. And these guys will capitalize. Oh. They hit so hard. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Don't take it the wrong way. Why do you have a shield? There you go. Using it. Just because you don't ever pay attention to anything I ever do. I have watched you get slammed in the face a million times. Like that that def that hit to the shield just now is the first time I've seen your shield get hit. Because you've not been paying attention. Ooh. <laughs> I hit that one up there, right? Yeah. Yes. Alright, well. Glencore! Let us do glorious battle together. But for this fight, I think I wanna... Actually, you know what? Oops. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. It's hand axe time. Since I'm not really gonna have a chance to use my shield here. Time to go big bad wolf this piece of shit. 
Eh. Did you know that in the original uh, Little Red Riding Hood story, uh, the wolf, uh, the big bad wolf, eats the grandma and then eats Little Red Riding Hood, and a woodsman has to show up and save them by killing the wolf and cutting him open so that Grandma and Red Riding Hood can escape the wolf's stomach. Which only makes sense if the big bad wolf just straight up bored them. <laughs> like, unhinged his jaw. <laughs> Man, I remember when this fight was hard for me. Like, I came in here and ate shit so many times. Well, remember, this is the easy mode mod. I don't think I would have died to him on, on regular mode. He's not hard to dodge whatsoever. Parable? Yeah, I imagine so. A lot of people are parable who you don't ever think would be parable. Uh, now before I try to do a thing here, <laughs> let's uh -oh. go spend some souls. <laughs> Like a few more life gems. You're not gonna kill the. I mean, she deserves it, but you're not gonna kill her, are you? <laughs> I mean. No. Nothing bad will happen here. <laughs> are you gonna try to, like, sparta her off the edge? Thank you. I have never played Sekiro. No, why are you sitting More like yeah, Sucky Row, am I right? <laughs> I've never played it either. It's like, don't pull an Earthbound. <laughs> With everyone's like, oh, Sarah, it looks so great. You're like, it looks dumb. I'm not going to play it. Just shut up. Of course, at least with Sucky Row, there's a good chance that you'd play it. It'd be a good game. <laughs> Wait, what game was I like? It looks dumb. I'm not going to play it. Earthbound. It was dumb. <laughs> it was dumb, but he didn't know it before you played it. <laughs> I think my instincts serve me pretty well. I don't suppose I've gotten a... Damn it. Where am I standing on equip load now? And yes, I know... Our opinion on Earthbound is not the popular one. If you like Earth... If you... Mirthbound. <laughs> Worthbound? <laughs> if, you, if you like Worthbound. Worthbound. <laughs> you are you are allowed to like you are allowed to like Earthbound. It's fine. We just wanted to we just wanted to uh, defenestrate ourselves <laughs> by the end of it. I just gotta. Oh, go. No. I feel like for a lot of people, <laughs> I feel like for a lot of people, Dark Souls is best experienced as watching a speed run of it. Um, okay, here's an idea. Is there not a... What if you buy the Emit Force miracle from her and then Emit Force her <laughs> you... ass right into the sea? <laughs> Use it. She didn't go anywhere. Is it's there just... a weapon that ge specifically gives me a kick? There might not be a kick in this game. I thought there was a kick. I don't know. Okay. But I'm curious. You 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 clearly want her to die. There's if she a dies, she gives you the key to the contraption that she charges you souls for later. I thought you just had to hit it with a miracle. 
Well, do I look like a man who has a miracle? Yes. And also, and it's that mustache. And it, it's also hard to hit that miracle when she's standing there later. <laughs> it doesn't have because to be an attack miracle. It just has to be a target miracle. Yeah, no, it's a key. <laughs> she lies to you. She's like, it operates on miracles. So when she's doing that thing, she's like, Pachua. What she's actually doing is like going, Hacha! Click, click, click. Don't look at the hands. Look at the flashy miracles I'm waving around. Wee! <laughs> that must be some key. Why would you build your architecture with archways to nothing? Now, in this wall, I want to have a doorway, okay? But I want the door- I want you to break up the doorway. <laughs> okay. It's tech- it's decorative. Well, see, decor makes a statement and about statement yourself. Is, I'm so fucking rich, I can have- <laughs> I can have my construction team just build random archways for no reason. I'm just because I think it looks... Because I think it breaks up the wall and it's more expensive than just putting up a painting. It says, I'm the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Every time I come into a room, I have to break down bricks. <laughs> Thanks, Kool-Aid man. Can I have some of your Kool-Aid? No, it's blood! <laughs> I think that's one of my favorite lines from that... from my parody rap. <laughs> Back up quick, I got Kool-Aid dick. Shout, oh yeah, and bust through bricks. <sighs> oh, it is so dark. I need to finish that. I need to finish writing that so I can record it. Sit your ass down. Hop, 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 hop. On the way <coughs> not to the wharf. Boosh. Take a little rusty do. Why did I wear this shirt? Oh, I need a torch. Doggo! <laughs> beware, doggo. Also, beware, fire. Just beware. <laughs> you know? Oh, here comes man. I shall retreat. Okay, sir. We shall trade blows! <laughs> Ow, he led that shot so amazingly. Oh. I think this area may be one of my least favorite areas in the game. Sure honks. Like, Dark Souls kind of juggles hard and bullshit. 
It straddles and, that line very hard. Like, I feel like Dark Souls 3 had the least amount of bullshit and the most amount of hard. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Also, did he shoot his arrow straight up? <laughs> I'm trying to decide whether one or two had more bullshit. One had more unintentional bullshit. That's I think. true. Oh, there's a man coming. Although, because it was a lot. A lot of it was just because of their jank fucking physics. Although, one of the things about one. Because there's also, I feel like there's a there's a BPS that has to be taken into account, which is bullshit per second, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Blight Town has an unbelievably high bullshit per second, <laughs> and it kind of Blight Town kind of established a unfortunate paradigm for the series, which is for some reason the devs now think, oh, there's got to be a blight town in every game. Every game. Every Souls like has to have that one area. Like the gutter was pretty bad. Oh, what the fuck is this crap? I think <laughs> there's got to be a way to get down here. There is not. That is. Oh, is that just a dude? Yeah. Oh. Cool. His shit glitched out. Sad. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Ah! Yeah. It was a throwing knife. Good. I like those. Alright, I see you coming. Chat lord. I see you coming. Your room. <laughs> oh lord, he coming. Here comes that boy. Ow. Yeah. Two kind of does feel like it played the, um... I'm a massive asshole card. <laughs> But you didn't see that one coming. The worst D the worst DM card. Here, sir. Like I think I'm gonna say one wins the bullshit award because because its bullshit areas are really high octane bullshit. Like they are high density bullshit. Like, how many times in one area do you say, Oh, what the fuck is this shit? Ah! Doggo! Sit! Um... Black Gulch in this Good game boy. is pretty high-density bullshit. But, like... In one, you've got Blight Town, which is incredibly high-density bullshit. Um... You've got it's compounded bullshit because it's both intentional and unintentional bullshit. Especially if you're playing the original version on the Xbox, when going to Blight Town was basically, I hope your Xbox doesn't explode. <laughs> it was any way you played it. It was it was horribly optimized. It didn't matter what kind of system you were playing it on. None of them could handle it. Um, oh, here come a man. And then you also had you also had Isolith, where it was like, okay, and now we're gonna come on down here, and it's just endless garbo. Like, oh yeah. Ah! Where did you come from? You remember that Taurus demon and the Capra demon? We just threw twenty of them in here. <laughs> also, the floor is lava, literally. Isolith suffers the most from we tried so hard and got so far, but in the end it doesn't really, didn't really matter. Um, because it's it's not even that it's like unfinished or or boring. It's that their solution when oh making my God. it their solution when making it was pretty much just fill it with garbage. Yeah, run into that fire. Morons. <laughs> um. See, what else was there? I know there's more in one. Where it was like, oh, what is this? I mean, just the initial Capra demon fight. Where it's like, okay, so here's a boss. 
fight him, fight this boss in a hallway, basically. With two dogs. With two, like, with two super aggro dogs. To the point where it was necessary for players to come up with a specific strategy that everyone had to use in order to deal with I this shit. that might be you. The long, a uh, wretch, what could... Um... So Panda, Panda was telling me, Panda was telling me yesterday that, um, Isolith, Isolith, uh, that Isolith, uh, the reason why, the reason why Isolith is the way it is, is because they ran into problems. It wasn't so much that they, they did run out of development time slash money, but it was because they ran into problems and they didn't have any system in place for dealing with those problems. Pretty much everything up to that point had been like fairly smooth sailing in terms of development and then they hit a major issue in Isolith and they had no uh, mechanisms in place for dealing with those problems. And so they just kind of had to it is what it is. Ship it. Because it is true when you're when you're uh when you're developing uh when you're doing like software development and stuff, or really any kind of project, um you kinda you know, any kind of project with like multiple people, you have to have uh, procedures Ow. in place for dealing with problems. Um, you know, it's you can't just be like, if problems arise, we will fix them, right? You have to, you have to be like, if problems arise, this is how we will. This is how we will fix them. This is who we hand it to, um, because um, here, okay. Cause it's a it's it's a matter of the pipeline that you have, right? Because like, imagine for a second that you have a team, you know, just a small team, right? And you have like the programming department, the level design department, the art department, and so on, right? And uh, the game, the level design department is building levels. Well, they need resources from the art department, right? So, uh, the art, so, and, the, and they need, uh, when they have, like, level design ideas that the system doesn't have in place, they need the programming department to make them. So you have this pipeline where, and this is a very basic, like, simplified example. Um, but you have a pipeline where the level design department starts working on levels and then they say, uh, okay, so this is, these are our ideas for the level design, for this level design. We need this, we need these features to be programmed and we need these art resources so we can make the level. So the programming department and the level and the art department start working on those resources, right? And then they hand all that stuff to level design. And level design makes the levels. And then they... Uh, then level design starts moving on to the next area. And they say to the programming department, we need, thi we need this, and we need this, right? We need this, we need this. And so programming and art start working on that. Um, but then you run into issue, like they're, you know, they hand it to testing or whatever, right? They hand a previous area to testing and testing is like, we found a shitload of issues with, uh, like the art resources are all borked. So then, uh, level design comes back. So then, or then quality assurance goes back to, goes to art and says, Hey, we found a bunch of problems. And Art goes, well, we can't fix, we can't work on those problems because we're working on the next level area for level design. So now either they have to like scramble to do two things at once, or you put development 
way behind because now instead of working on stuff for level design they're fixing stuff for the previous area and now level design can't move forward because they're waiting on stuff from art you know and y you see how that becomes an issue like not having not having a pipeline in place for handling problems um can very easily wind up with your development process getting really backed up. Um, and, you know, all that time that level design is waiting for the... Re waiting for stuff from art, they're not doing anything, but you're still paying them, right? So, that's basically wasted money, that's wasted resources, and, you know, you can't do that forever you have a limited budget eventually you run out of eventually you run out of resources so not having a good not having a pipeline for handling those can really like do nasty shit to your game development what's your guys favorite dragon form um, um like in terms of like what are our options I'm not sure I understand the question. Like, are we talking about in the context of the Soulsborne games, Soulsborne ring games, or the context of just all dragons in fiction in general? Dark Souls 1, 2, so specifically Dark Souls 1, 2, or 3. Well, the one that will always remain with me for the rest of my life is the Gaping Dragon from mm. Dark Souls 1, because that is an incredibly intimidating looking boss and is just great design and and like the first time you fight you don't know what's going on so he's gonna eat your ass but like at last a dragon eats my ass but you know he does suffer from like oh subsequent fights are like oh he's way easier than I thought he, than he was you still have your okay. fuck meant the dragon transformations. What dragon transformations? Oh, you mean like for the player? I've never done any dragon transformations, so I have I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I've never gotten gone out of my way for those. I don't yeah. even know if I know how to get them e in each game. My favorite dragon form is the dragon asses from Dark, Dra Dark Souls 1. <laughs> they have all they need to have. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I I don't think I've seen any of them. I think I've seen one of them, but I can't remember. My brain thinks it's the one from 3 because it looks incredibly goofy, but it also looks like like in my brain I see something that's like well modeled in high fidelity, so my brain so I'm like it's got to be 3 that that one's in. It's like gray and kind of furry. Please get out of my way, sir. Gavlan! Gavlan! Gavlan wheel! Who Gavlan deal! I, Gavlan. Gavlan. Gavlan wheel. Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. For many, God's sake. How is he doing that? <laughs> He's doing the ventriloquist <laughs> trick where you, like, Drink and what talk at the same time. What? Will Gavlan, you. Oh, one, I want to sell you some crap. Don't need that. Oh, well, I can't. I guess if I mute my phone. Keep that. Not using that anytime soon. Not using do, this. Do, 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 Don't know when I got the old night halberd. But I'm definitely not using that. Might use a whip? I don't know. Not using these claws anymore. We'll probably switch to the bow. But I need to increase the brightness because I can't. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I am. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hold on. Uh, based on that, Dark Souls 2. I think I'm gonna go with Dark Souls 1. Yeah, I, I recall, I was like, ah, Dark Souls 3, I remember being really silly. <laughs> Clearly. I thought Dark Souls 2 looked the coolest. Whoa, Shadow Gauntlets! Dark Souls 2... Dark Souls 2, to me, looks like dragon armor. More than a dragon. It looks like that somebody wearing dragon-shaped armor, whereas Dark Souls 1 looks like actual dragon. Dark Souls 3 looks like somebody... Dark Souls 3, honestly, looked like <laughs> a, a bad model import from an anime game. <laughs> 5,000? Hmm... Doesn't that just increase poise? Poise is good. Poise is good. But poise you, means don't get... Don't stagger. Well, you don't stagger if you don't get hit. Right, but... <laughs> what if... Hear me out. What if you just wear stupid heavy armor and have high poise and you just tank everything? You stop rolling and then you just let him go stab, stab, stab. That's... That's kind of the master plan. Mm. There's a reason why I'm holding on to this. <laughs> Wait, did you switch armors? Yeah. I had the old knight armor, huh. and I noticed that uh, I was still in medium roll when I wore it. So I was like, okay, medium roll is good enough for me. And it gives me higher poise. <laughs> chonk! He's so big. <laughs> He's the chonkiest. But old ironclad armor, though. There's actually an improved version of this set that I want to get a hands on. But there's a po another point to me wearing this besides its poise and defense. Mm -hmm. You're immune to backstabs. Mm. <laughs> it is handy. Plus, you look like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Exactly. I'm Torple the Turtle. Well, Squirrel, if you uh, if you pop over to our uh, if you pop over into our Discord channel. You can look in our, uh, bag- if you pop over to our Discord server, you can look in our Bag of Holding channel and see the video that, uh, Cobalt shared. The problem with the old knight armor is the durability. Well, like I said, there's the better- uh, durability is not an issue for us. I mean, it might be if I get exploded. What's the- how much durability does it have? Forty-five? You'd have to get hit pretty hard. Oh, yeah. that one, that one could get, that one could get broken I just in noticed one that its hit. durability is currently 6 out of 20. Well, it's because, it's because it does that thing where, like, it goes down to 6, and then the next time you get hit, it will go down from 20. Like, you're really, your durability is really only an issue from massive hits, which would come from, like, getting blown up. Because we are, Bye. we are uh, one of one of the mods that we're using is infinite durability because durability systems have and always have are and have always been garbage. Better leggings. Well, hold on, a man approaches. Ah, still in the menu. Ow. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Anyways, better leggings? No, actually. Terrible leggings. Like, they're lighter? And give some better, like, status and element defenses, but not very big. Whereas the rest of the defense is not worth the weight drop, so... Uh, what I would say things. is, when you... What I would suggest is when you beat this next boss take the take the boatload of souls that you're going to get and uh all of the all of the souls that you've acquired and are holding onto in your inventory 
and boost the hell out of your vitality. That's what I've been doing. Okay. Although I do need to spare some for, uh, because I do want to use that trident. Mm hmm. Because eventually I want to put poison on it. Mm. Yeah, but by the time you get to eventually, you'll have so many freaking souls. Everyone's still dead over here? Good. Summon Bradley of the Old Guard. Your dude looks like he's having just the best of times. I am having the best of times. Exploration is my life. We <laughs> And he seems like he would have this sort of very posh gentleman's accent. Come, you know, look at you. You know. We must engage in jolly combat. I'm like Siegmeier if he wasn't he full would... of shit. <laughs> I love you, Sigmar, but you're full of shit. <laughs> like, grow some bowls. He would say things like... He would, he would say things like, you you know a lot. Like, I, I went to the store today, you know, and had, had a, bought myself a biscuit. <laughs> ah, you have joined me on the hey, ship what? to do Charlie Battle. Capital. Or what, what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking all the kills, chaps. But you know how it is. I can't help how I feel. Inside. I can't hide the joy in my I heart. I say, are you familiar with Guinevere? And her magic orbs? Titties. <laughs> <laughs> she has magic... Hey, what? Breeds. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kid <Kitty Chris. laughs> All right. I struggle with Kadikaris. Yeah, I know he's not like his humor is not always like your style. Uh, it's less the humor, and it's um, he has opinions. Hiya! All right, shield up. Gang up on him! Like. Ow. I, I have noticed that Kadikaris tends to fall into the I'm bad at this game, therefore it's bad trap. Mm. He, he, I, he's done that for a few games that well, he's reviewed. Well, JonTron's kind of done that too. One of my favorite quotes about him was, uh, it was funny. Mm -hmm. And it was about Zelda 2. He's like, and that one's memorable because it sucks and I hate it. <laughs> like, bully him! Probably the most famous example of I'm bad at the game, therefore it's bad was the, in the now infamous Cuphead review. Where the dude oh, yeah. couldn't get out of the tutorial area and then, see shit. and then he was like, this game is too hard. Is like, or alternately, you are incredibly bad at games. <laughs> All right, and here we have something I can actually make some good use of. But a pyromancy flame. Dongs, 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 dongs. But some of and. Some of Kadikaris's humor is a little on the grating side, but a lot of it's a lot of it's funny. I've think, always been a fan of. I think he has a good of, sense of humor in general. Yeah, I've always been a fan of his snappy and off the wall humor. Yeah. <laughs> like one of my favorite intros was when he was doing the Lego videos, the like the big Lego video. And he started off with, well, now I have to review something I've already reviewed. Do you know what that means? Da -da -da, I'm bitter. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of, like, who... I think I would... I think I'd say that, uh... Of the, of the various, like, sketch-based YouTubers that I watch... Sketch-based? Um, where... Uh, they're the 
kind of video that they're producing is like based on like uh it's written <coughs> right as opposed to Bye. being live uh where they just sort of do like reaction <coughs> content for example okay so scripted yes yeah, sc thank you scripted script tubers yeah my f <laughs> i think my favorite my favorite script tuber in terms of their sense of humor would probably be jontron <laughs> his intros are amazing um, some of his, some of his ads are pretty good too. Like, I appreciate, I appreciate any YouTuber who can make their ads entertaining. I did like that one where he's like, he started off, he's like, you know what they say, idle hands are the devil's workshop. Well, what they say is wrong! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me pull up, let me, let me pull up my favorite, uh... Ow. Ow. One of my favorite, because, uh... Bye. The Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> uh, oh no, I need some snacks. I'll just go out to the post office and my goodness, snow. <laughs> what? I don't even like feet. <laughs> Why can't... <What? laughs> Why can't I target you, sir? Uh, Wait, is this a real thing? I saw this... I saw this mentioned a couple of times and I thought it was just people making jokes. Is Texas actually talking about like seceding from the union? Because you can't do that. It's illegal. Like we we did that at like after the after the Civil War where it was like it wasn't explicitly codified that you can't secede from the union. We were like we finished up the Civil War and then we were like, okay, so now you can't do that. <laughs> Eddie Burbach is an author that you really appreciate for his humor and sense of artistry in approaching even the most mundane subject. Like the union is not some is not something that you're just kind of participating in. <laughs> like. No, I don't want history. I want clips. My clips. Don't eat that right now. Thanks. Alright, now what do I need for this? I need uh, 15 decks. Bear and seek less this. Bear. I sure am. I'll, I will, I'll find it. Give me a second. I have a lot of clips. Uh... Do I have a shard? Uh, I never pay attention enough to know if I have a shard. I used to, I used to really like, um... I used to really like Cinema Sins, but I they've gotten into they start they got into a habit of getting really uh <laughs> um <laughs> getting really pretentious about like social awareness issues and it start it got really obnoxious all right so i got to one hand it to get the spinny spin now something i need to know is mr armorman all right Feel like myself and a couple people in chat in particular <laughs> getting called out. <laughs> like they feel that. I've also noticed that like in every Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 3, Nelden Ring, Metal Shield e unless it's like a small buckler, Metal Shield equals a hundred percent physical defense. But not Dark Souls 2.
Um, but yeah. Um, like, what other what other scripted channels do I even watch? I mean, there's Pro Jared's main channel. That's true. I find him. I generally find him more interesting than. Uh, now in the nineties. Is great. Is great. I really, I really like that <laughs> stuff that he's doing. That whole the, the sports video, the one where it's like all sports. <laughs> it was great. Uh, let's see. Just happened to be in that year. It was all sports, sports. video games. Sports. <laughs> let's see. Um, because like a lot of the scripted channels that I watch are more informational stuff, like CGP Grey. Who he's got a good sense of humor, but he's not really a comedy channel per se. Um, let's see how heavy is this, and how likely is this to cause me problems? Do, 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 do. I'm hesitant to say Electro Boom what? because I'm not sure whether I'd classify him as scripted. <laughs> He feels like he just does stuff and then ed with a general plan and then edits it. Yeah. Ooh, friendly Jordies. He's up there. Be he's got he's got that savage sense of humor, where it's like, cause he, he's a he's a journal he's a journalist, and he's extraordinarily critical. And he's one of the best tech. He's probably the best takedown artist I've ever heard. Um. Wait, do I have. By any chance. Where would it be? Key items? Oh, I never gave McDuff the fucking dull ember. I guess nostalgia critic counts as scripted content. Yeah. So he's up there. Definitely. It's like I'm trying to think I'm like which which scripted YouTuber consistently makes me laugh. Got bolts and shit. You, uh... Um, like for example, ex prime example of takedown artistry, right? You are daddy's little boy. Hey, look, I'm standing on a computer clicking buttons. Fuck. Jesus, which is gonna be five? I'm gonna take these experts' advice. I'm gonna meet that girl in my dreams, and I hope she's somewhere over that bridge, enjoying herself, and um, she's ready to marry me. <laughs> Yuck! All the women's sub communication is. I've got two eggs left. All the men's sub languages. Why is it there arranged marriages anymore? You mean I have to get a personality now? I've been single for five years. I don't have a much of a social life at all. Okay, it makes a lot of sense why her voice is like this, because she's a scientist. Uh, it's an unfortunate thing about that life, isn't it? Charles Darwin smashed no puss despite unlocking all of the secrets we know about reproduction. So, I do feel lonely. Oh. I really do. No! Um. Only friends are animals. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really like his, I really Whoa. like his general style. Friend! Unfortunately, he's had to disappear off YouTube for a while because, uh, the actual organized crime is angry at him. Aye! <laughs> Uh-oh, this could be a problem. 
uh, for context, that clip that I was just playing was from an episode where he was uh, ripping into. Uh, he was ripping into Australian uh, reality TV. You know, shit like the shit like The Bachelor. I think that that show that he was ripping on was. Um, What's it called? Married at First Sight. Where basically it's like you sign up for the show and they hand you a wife. And they're like, here you go, you're married now. Like you've never met them before. You, they, you just show up in a tux. They bring out a woman in a wedding dress and you get married now. And spoiler alert, everybody sucks. <laughs> It's it's bad. Arr! Oh no! <laughs> Why? Because he's shooting fire arrows and there were explosives behind you. Well, have a bolt in your dick. <laughs> All right, now we just uh, break that, break those. No more. Hello, sir. Yes. Turn Let's see. turn around. You see nothing. What other scripted chan what other scripted channels do I watch? Did I not buy any firebombs? Yeah, I did. That are like comedy. What the um, fuck? Like Explode <laughs> God damn you. Uh Last week, John Oliver doesn't count. That's not a YouTuber. That's an HBO show. Um, hmm. 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 Scan, scan, scan. <laughs> Wait, I'm subscribed to Space Hamster? Does he make videos anymore? <laughs> they don't ever show up in my subscription feed. I don't think this is where I want to be going right now. Um. Hmm. Oh, actually, I got a, I got some souls. Maybe I should upgrade this channel or this thingamabib. Oh. If Zay Frank counts, it's got to be Zay Frank. Oh, yeah. At the absolute top of at the absolute top of my list, probably by a wide margin. Oh shit! Okay. You know what that is? That's a murder chicken. True facts about animals is probably the best series on YouTube. Period. You, the name, and you, and that, not uh, <laughs> One of the most distinctive qualities of giraffes is their incredibly long necks. In fact, the tallest giraffe is taller than all other giraffes. <laughs> Jerry, that's not helpful. <laughs> there we go. Chandler's tried in plus five. All right, where can I? Oh, I mean, she sells them. So might as well, you know. I was gonna say like thousands. At this point, like dumping into your vitality is probably given that you now have a strategy. Like but he um he used to do videos <laughs> that were like just sort of him talking by the way, you're allowed to just look shit up if you want. I'm not gonna be like, you can't look stuff up. Just bear in mind that, you know, when you're looking stuff up, you're not playing. So. Don't need this. Um, but he used to do like, he used to do like videos where he would just like talk about stuff. I wouldn't call them like self-help videos. 
um, like I wouldn't call them self-help videos, but they were just like very encouraging, thoughtful videos, kind of vloggy, but you know, in a very like supportive way. But he had some, he had some really great, like hilarious Thanks. stuff. Like he, like he'd get some really there. great lines. Like Seek one of my favorites was like, now technically, and when I say technically, it's just a very fancy way of saying that I'm a douche. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, hold on. Let me let me grab a let me grab a couple clips because they're they're really good. Today is controller tape plays clips. Clips. Can I search my clips? No, just search YouTube. I was really glad when they introduced the clips stuff on YouTube. sex without love is just a very complicated form of masturbation and you don't want to get addicted to that it's hard to write a novel with a dick in your hand pardon the language but i love the visual but not <laughs> fine fine yeah, but then he said we had but then he said we had to take it seriously, and unfortunately the words take it seriously make a certain part of my brain, the duck part, release a neurotransmitter called fuck off oxytocin, which makes me deaf for like five minutes. But then he said we had to take it seriously. He's... he's fun. Quite a hand of pyromancy, so here is my reward: a prism stone. <laughs> Thanks. Now I can remember where I've been. I was it. I. Oh. Well, you'll have to get used to it for a bit, because I'm not giving you this old ironclad armor. <laughs> <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Ow! 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 You don't seem as tanky as you could be. These guys are hitting awful hard. Might need to put some resources into leveling up this armor. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of this anymore. <laughs> it was amazing. All right, everyone just chillax. Especially you, you piece of shit. But yeah, definitely. There's a lot of comedy that I watch and I just sort of smile at, you know? Like, it, it's smile comedy. It doesn't make me laugh, per se. Um, but... Zay Frank consistently makes me just, like, laugh out loud. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely he's at the top of the list. Hooray! Now, that lady will not go back to Majula until you give her clothes. Right. So you have to give her something. Well, I'll give her something someday. Not sure when, not sure what. But I'll just show up out of blue while she's been standing there in filthy, disgusting, stinky rags for about seven years. And I'll just be like, I finally found you a dress. Put this on, you layabout. I don't know why her rags are so stinking. She's been made of. Sh she's been stone. She was stinky stone. This weapon doesn't seem as good as the sword you've been using. He'll meet again in Don't my wait. ass. I 
I think the problem is this weapon is very stamina intensive. So I it, need to... It just doesn't seem to do a lot of damage is all. Like, the DPS on it seems kind of low. Well, your... the DPS on your face seems kind of low. Ow. Is there someone up here? No. Hey, free Ferris Locks. No. Nice. Can I just walk past these guys? Enjoy your dinner. I don't care if they're eating a man. Because what is a man but a miserable pile of McNuggets. <laughs> a miserable pile of McNuggets. <laughs> that's that's the line in my head now. What is a man but McNuggets? <laughs> Potential McNuggets. After all, you are what you eat. Your body does take that matter and convert it into body part. So, you are... If, if fat is a part of you, then you are at least somewhat comprised of chicken nuggets. Which, you know, that's a, that's a really, it, that's an interesting ontological question, isn't it? How much of what is in you is you, right? Like, is your gut biota you? Or is it just shit that lives in you, right? Yeah. Are, is... Are your cells you, or are they just a housing for your brain, and your brain is you? How much of, if that's the case, how much of your nervous system is you? What is consciousness? Are we alive? <laughs> Shit, Lord. So if you smack those big trees, mm -hmm. uh, they make the loud noise. Uh-huh. Ow. And the loud noise actually attracts the ghosts. Ah. Wow. He walloped you good. Oops. Thought you could backstab me? You're in for rude awakening! Alright, yay! Victory sheep. And if your gut biota, which are like independent cells, if they are a part of you, does that mean that when you get like a virus or a bacterial infection that those things are also you and just you are worse now <laughs> you are killing you yeah give me this very important thing yes now I have some other rings explodes <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Who's here? Excuse me, sir. You are very rude, whoever you are. I hear you rolling around like a nitwit. But you ha shan't have torpor. And here I am. Squeaky beep the poo. Aha. Do, 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 do. Ah, finally. Do, 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 do. We don't need the gun. Don't know where. Don't know. Ah, my ass. <laughs> ow, ow. Mm. Oh. Sorry. 
I'm so happy. Yeah. It must be so frustrating. <laughs> what? Eh, eh, eh. Die. Why won't you <laughs> die? Turning it into an oblivion NPC. <laughs> You <laughs> shot up. Oh, hey, I know. Ho, 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 ho. Just like that. <laughs> Nobody knows what's happening. <laughs> They've lost it. <laughs> They've snapped. Well, my favorite part of that whole bit is Tom. Like, both of them have this weird laugh that they keep delving into during that. Where it's yeah. Like, yeah. Crow being like, <laughs> but then Tom just going, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he was doing like the lady, right? <laughs> such a, such a great you know? sequence is Damn. them just. All right, back I go. Losing their minds for the entirety of the credits. <laughs> yeah, and Mike's just... Ah, okay. okay, you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have fun? <laughs> we all meet again. In my just don't take the looks you get own. personally. Because you are a smelly boy now. So like, no, raise, well, yeah, raising the CQP level doesn't seem to have helped a whole lot with file size. It's still like about to hit 60 gigabytes. <laughs> Neat. So. It's because there's so much motion on the screen as compared to like, uh, 145 like retro games. So. 120, 130 some. So the crossbow is currently more powerful than the short bow. So like, but if I were to get a long bow, the long bow would probably be better than the crossbow. Let me do some. Let me do some quick calculations. I here. Uh, let's see, eight thousand divided by we'll say seventy. We'll say sixty because I think. for an average. Um, so it's what, 100 and 110-ish videos, which divided by, uh, hold on, 110 divided by, conservatively, that's, 27 weeks worth of 27 weeks worth of streams, so half a year of streams ish. We'd have to buy we'd buy we'd have to buy another hard we'd have to buy two of these hard drives every year to keep backups of all our vods. Which I guess isn't too bad. I have tried compressing them to see if, like, shrinking them down a bit, but it doesn't do much. It cuts off maybe a couple gigabytes. Maybe. Yay! Free shit! <laughs> I'm thirsty. Okay. 600 should be more than enough. Uh, hey! Yo! Mr. Canadian Donut. It's just Canadian Donut. You guys know what to do. Load up the cannon. Shoot, shoot. Fire. <laughs> Kill. <laughs> Kill the raiders. <laughs> Kill them. Shoot them until they're dead. <laughs> it's fucking Fallout 4. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. How are you doing? We don't have a shout-out command, because I'm stupid. 
<laughs> because we recently switched to Cloudbot and I haven't gotten it fully set up yet. Welcome! Thank you for so much for the raid! How are you doing? How was your stream? Ow, ow. We all instantly die. So, welcome Do to... the life gem, you fat fuck. <laughs> welcome to Dark Souls 2. Yay, now more people are here to watch me fail at this game. Yes, perfect. Oh, I didn't actually equip the goddamn... Good bolts. <laughs> Quit laughing at me! <laughs> board games? Ooh. What kind of board games? Dude, I, we haven't sat down and just played good board games yeah. in a long time. We used There was a game group that we used to go to uh, quite a while ago that used to play lots of different kinds of board games. Betrayal and Tokaido. I know of Betrayal. I've never heard of Tokaido. Um, I see you, sir. But I miss that. Uh, you remember Kingdom Death? Yes. Which is basically... Uh, ow, which ow. is basically like, what if it was, you know, what if Dark Souls, except a board game, and like a a group of people, because it, it was it was a PVE board game, and it came with like these massive fuck off uh, miniatures for playing, and it was bas it was basically like Dark Souls boss fights. Where, like, you'd go back to camp, you'd- all the players would prep themselves, and then you'd pick, like, a boss, and you'd go fight that boss. Um, and if- if your characters survived, you know, they'd get- they'd get stuff, and they'd get more powerful. Um, and if they died, you'd have to- you'd have to make new ones. And if all the characters in your, like, village died. It's it's oh. gentlemen. <laughs> it was a really interesting game. You should you should you should look if you like board games you should look up Kingdom Death. Can I break that without stepping on it? Stopped a ghost wedding. Player used their gun to take out the haunt person and then into Kaido. Just take a trip across Japan, but there was drama at the ocean. Ocean drama. Ghost Perry Sounds interesting. Ow. I like I like cool non-traditional board games. Jesus Christ. Oh stop! Thou art wrecked. <laughs> He's the one who's dead though. So uh for you raiders who are just popping in, uh we'll let you know. So what's what's going on here is it's a Dark Souls 2 race uh between me and panda um cool. good shot <laughs> uh to see who can beat dark souls 2 in the fewest number of streams the objective is uh beat the game plus one dlc you just you, you, we don't have to do the true ending with the you know the scholar of the first sin and all that stuff it's just get an ending Plus one, acquire one crown oh, from a DLC. So very unfortunate for you, sir. So the, the runners get to uh, the runners. We are not speed runners by any by any stretch. Perhaps obviously, <laughs> um, but the runners get to choose which DLC they think their build and skill set will be best suited for. Um, so it gives a little flexibility in routing. Uh, we are playing with an easy mode mod, um, which uh, gives a variety of effects, like a little more damage, doing a little more damage, taking a little less damage, um, getting, so getting some more souls from bosses, that kind of thing. Uh, because we are not experts and we don't want to take, we don't want this to take forever. Um, has a has a few effects like uh, infinite durability because durability sucks, um, infinite torch because limited torch is stupid, uh, that sort of stuff. So uh, we are playing in offline mode, so we're not cheating online or anything. Um, 
So, so that's what's going on right now. I, I think... I don't think I would say that either one of us is definitively in the lead at this point. Um, like, um, if Panda manages to get a Lord Soul before the end of tonight's stream, I would say that's definitely in the lead, but otherwise we're kind of neck and neck, I think. Do Iron King DLC. Um, I'm still not sure which DLC I'm likely to do. I'm familiar with Frozen Aliyam, so I might do that one, but the, the ivory, the, the ivory shit, like the Chaos Knights and the Ivory King or whatever, that fight sucks ass. Um, and I'm not sure I want to, I'm not sure, like, I might end up beating my head against that fight for a while, so that might be slower. Um, I was thinking of doing Sunken King because I hate myself, I guess. <laughs> but, like, the final boss of that, I believe, is a dragon. Alright. Gentlemen, I'm going to need you to be nice to me. <laughs> I will murder this one ahead of time. Be nice to me so that I can murder you. I think those dudes can fall into the acid and die. Oh. That was thoughtful. He went to investigate and fail. What happened? Where did he go? <laughs> that way. Oh, I wonder if he's, like, leaving and climbing up the... Oh, no, there he no, is. No, there he is. He was just like, what the fuck happened? I must check. Oh, hold still. Thank you. <laughs> but if I hold still, you'll bleed. <laughs> oh, hey, Wizrobe, how you doing? What's up? So, we oh, are... Oh, yes, we are, uh... <laughs> we are Ark and Dark Panda. We are Controller Tape. We're a sibling duo. Uh, we play lots of different games, lots of different types of games. We tend to lean towards retro games, but we've been wanting to do this race for a very long time. Dude, at this point... Dark Souls, the first two Dark Souls games are retro. They kind of are. They've been... That's a corpse. Okay. You never know. They're all bug-eyed and shit. You can't see if they're dead. Um, how many years ago did Dark Souls 2 come out? <laughs> did somebody follow us and the notification not go off? Why didn't the notification go off? Hmm. Squint. Oh, wait, did I turn off? I might have turned off follow notifications for the, um... I, oh yeah, I turned off follow notifications for the, uh... Hello, bird wife. Oh, for the charity on. stream, because I didn't want them yeah, to yeah, distract. Yeah, branch. Thank you for helping me. So, thank you for the follow, Shiva. Thank you, thank you. I owe you some form of thanks, but I have nothing for you at the moment. Well, I disagree, but, you know, if you say so. Is it really just down the way? I mean, retro is just, like, old stuff. Um. <laughs> Let's see. A lot of the old crones. Alert oh, box. I need to go back because I never bought the tiny beings ring. Follows. No, follow alerts are enabled. Why didn't it follow? Why didn't? Why did it not alert? Because we can't have nice things. Yeah, what the hell? Shalquar. Apparently, she's got a unique piece of legwear you can buy. I never knew about. No, oh, there it goes. Why did it not show follow for Shiva? Hmm. Why is she always sitting here? I'm used to her always being on the table the first time I meet her. Oh, and one with just a bit. Well, oh, uh, what yes. are you talking about? I feel you fine. Uh, so Wizrobe. Ooh, you smell. I hate. I hate to tell you. I hate to tell you this, but 
Dark Souls 2 came out on Xbox 360, and that was three console generations ago. <laughs> That eventually, Christ. Uh, let's see. Dark Souls. Satisfied. I'll be around. Came out in 2014. So this came out 10 years ago. Yeah, she sold for. What I don't understand is why there's not an entire set of that because it feels really weird to just run around with what looks like tiny. Tiny the Tiger cosplay, but <laughs> only on your fucking legs. So, I think I think you could I think you could qualify this as. But here's the, well, because like on the one hand you might be like, well it's it's not retro because games still look like this, but on the other hand. There are games coming out now that look like NES games. So like games still games modern games still look like Super Nintendo games. So I'm not sure that's that necessarily qualifies as retro. Um so it's kind of a nebulous definition, I think. The greatest of eats. Yeah, exactly. So, like, you know, what is any are any video games retro? If they're if people are making games now that look like games then. Like, ooh, wow, I have died. Oh no! Wow, that guy, that guy, uh, expressed dominance. He got lucky. You're <laughs> like, I'm coming into your house, and he's like, No, you're not. Yeah, like, what defines classic rock? I, one of one of the angriest I've ever been at the radio was when I was listening to a classic rock station and then fucking Tom Petty came on. And I was like, no! <laughs> Stop. Oh. Watch out for Lion-O over there. <laughs> She'll have to catch me. But we tend we tend to lean towards games from our youth. So games from like you know before the turn of the century are the games that we tend to lean towards. But we've been wanting to do this pretty much since we did the first Dark Souls. Uh, race, which was a tie, because both of us got stuck. Both of us got stuck grinding something. Um, too thick. Uh, what did we? Oh, I spent I spent an entire stream grinding, uh, killing squiddies for humanities and you got stuck on Ornstein and Schmoo Ornstein and Schmoo for like a whole stream suck my havel dick oh the Ferris is Lockstone that's handy where are you? there you are in the fucking darkness Yeah, lower it, raising the CQP. Wah! Oh no. 
Raising the CQP did nothing. We're still gonna hit like 70 gigabytes by the end of this stream. It maybe knocked off a couple of gigabytes. Yeah, let's need a classic rock and hearing green day. It's like, no, stop. Stop making me old. Are you going to use a humanity? Eventually. A dork soy. A dork side. Ring of whispers. So, Panda's kind of following the same course I did, at least for now. Well, I want to get to Earth and Peak. That's where I'm headed. Where did... where? What was my plan? Where was I going? You were headed for the Iron Keep as fast oh, as right, possible. Oh, right, right. Did I get all his dialogues? My name was... Yes. Okay. All right, and back on the good ring goes. Excuse me. It's getting late. I am becoming EB. God fucking... You can say P, and you can say Sl... No, I'm EB and Sleeby. I'm a Sleeb G, little boy. <laughs> You're Sleeb G, little boy. That's what I heard. Alright, I'm going to s think of these guys I'm gonna swap to. From a long day of doing Artems and Streamies. I'm gonna switch to a broadsword for these assholes. Good night, Mr. the Foxo. Aim better, you twit. Uh. Oh, the brave little toaster. Yeah, I honestly think I think it's a I think it's a pretty good movie, honestly. I I recently decided that I think the brave little toaster is a it's a kids horror movie. The fuck was that? Um it has some it has some pretty dope songs in it. Um Alright, uh, I gotta unhollow. Um, <laughs> I'm back to my old self again. Summon the Scorpio. Hey, Ferret, welcome! Hello, Ferret. If you say, if you, you have to be careful, if you say their name too fast, you call them a Ferret. A Ferret. You call them a Fart in Irish. Call them a Ferret. Irish Fart. You have, you have joined us for... Souls. Good old dork souls. Uh, remember that that tree item is garbage. Yeah, pretty pointless. Did that even do damage? Tark? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, it, it did do some damage. She does not care about him, at, like, at all. No wonder he needs your help killing her. There we go. Now you are stronger. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, that's about how that should have ended. <laughs> no. Your spell casting is ridiculous. <laughs> Tark, help! That's probably why they broke up. I'm... I, I... Look at her, okay? She's no Quaylog. She's no... 
She's not exactly a catch, if you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll take, I'll take, I got, I'll take monsters. I'm, I'm definitely a xenophile. I got, I got no issue with monsters, but, uh, she doesn't, her tails aren't even even. Yeah, she's got one big tail. I, yeah, keep her attention, Tark. Yeah, Worthless is really good. I, I'm a fan of City of Light. I ain't about women, but... Oh, Christ, what happened? He punched her ass in the meat. It really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, that, mo that movie is basically a horror movie for kids. Like, there's some, there's some real go. scary shit in there. But it's like, it's not scary beyond what I think kids can handle. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I don't, I don't think that most, I, I don't think that kids are really coming out of that movie, like, actually traumatized. Yo, the wolf from Puss in Boots. Tark, I need you to do a better... Okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I thought the music gave up for a second. Good, good stagger, Tark. Somehow that hasn't caught her attention. Also, I believe that my oldest son has fully furried. And I think it was, uh... Oh, brain, don't do this to me. I think it was Prince Sidon that did it. Which, you know... Almost. Yeet! <laughs> yeah, Tark! Yes, that is the Zelda character. I was like, yes, 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 <laughs> Onward! Nailed it. <laughs> hey, Creighton, how you doing? You popped it just in time for me to see me win. We shall see me win. Swim champ. He's not super sportsy, really. No, He's... we put him in baseball for a while, and I think he did enjoy it, but at the same time, he didn't. He wasn't really into it. Put him in soccer, again, wasn't really into it. He's very much intellectual in his interests and pursuits. Like, he does programming stuff. Uh... Kind of, he kind of impressed his teacher because. Why are you so alive? His, his big project was uh, making a 3D renderer. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna program something that renders 3D objects from scratch." He was like, "All right." Took that hits me somehow. Get dead. Angel face. Ooh, I got old mundane stone and a magic stone. And he is 15, so... Haha! I'm, I'm proud of my smart boy. Alright, back he's, to Majula. He's, he's a smarty. So, you can imagine why I'm not, like... I'm not, like, hey, take... I would like you to take time away from this thing that you are clearly very talented at. 
and enjoy and like like clearly clearly you know is a direction that you could legitimately go in life stop doing that and play sports <laughs> like no I'm not I'm not gonna do that yes he is already 15 next year all of my children will be teenagers in three years I will have an adult child an adult child <laughs> I will have adult offspring nope sports are not for everyone although I don't know I I would encourage if you're not if you've never gotten super into sports but you do like games I especially like watching games I would encourage you maybe to like look into some different sports that maybe you haven't tried watching because you might find one that catches your interest um and i think i think a key to enjoying sports that a lot of people miss is pick a team to root for when you go in right like don't go in just be like i'm just gonna watch this and see how it goes no you kind of have to get invested, I feel like, to properly enjoy sports. So, like, if you're going to try a sport, don't just watch a random team. Pick a team to invest in, right? Like, for whatever, for any re- It doesn't, it doesn't, it can be any reason. It can be, like, this is, uh, my, this is my local team. Like, I'm from California, so root for the Angels, like, in, like, for baseball, right? Or I just- I like this team's logo. Like I'm gonna root for I'm gonna root for the Trash Pandas because I like their logo and their team design, right? Um, but pick a team to get invested in because I think that adds to the experience. If you're not invested in the outcome, you're not gonna really enjoy it as much. But if you're like I want the Trash Pandas to win, then there's more like investment and more like yeah, they got you know they got the they got points. Um, Seattle Seahawks, yeah. I remember when I was a kid, I decided that the football team I would root for was uh, the 49ers. Because? <laughs> because literally everyone of my age and my family was starting to pick teams where they're just like, I don't want to root for the Broncos because fuck my family. It's funny. <laughs> Well, so like Raymond especially was like that. He was like, "I'm gonna vote for these people because it pisses my family off." Yeah, he's he's a Raiders fan. He's a Boston Red Sox fan. He's like, "I'm gonna pick the sh the douchiest teams available and root for them." Um, but like, you know, Dad roots for Dad roots for the Broncos because he's from Denver. Yeah, like he spent a long time in Denver. Um, he roots for the Yankees because, uh, he lived in Buffalo for quite a while. So he was, you know, he was in New York. Uh, you know, so he, he was a New Yorker for a good chunk of his life. Um, I'm an Angels fan because I grew up in California and in Little League, I played for the Angels for like three years two years for like two years and uh i know i know that i've told this story on stream but it for anybody who might not have heard it um both years that i played little league for the angels we were we were a championship team uh the f the first year we won no oh why didn't i backstab him did I hit the wrong button or you, some shit? You hit the you hit the spirally button. Fuck this game. Um so But yeah, we so we won the first year we won one championship and then the second year we won two championships because we won the Village Hills and then we went on to win uh the entire division championship. And that second year, our coach took us, took the team to an Angels game. We, we all went to an Angels game. 
and it was Little League Day, so we all showed up in our... We all showed up, like, in our team uniforms and everything. And uh, because it was Little League Day... Uh, Goodbye, Lizard. All the Little League teams that showed up got to go down onto the field and be in a little parade, right? Which was cool. And the announcer announced all the team names as we were as we were going around as we passed home plate. And when he announced our team, he announced us as the Village Hills champions, the Angels. And the whole stadium went berserk. And like that's one of my best memories, period. And so the Angels won my undying fan fanship from that. Um, so. Who do I root for? Uh, me. <laughs> I root for me to win in all things. It doesn't happen, so I'm always sad. But I will never stop. Japan. <laughs> Dude, that fucking... The uh, world... The, the <laughs> not the World Series. What did they call it? It was... But it was like an international... It was like baseball championship. The game. actual World Series, where it was like uh, all of the nations of the world doing doing the baseball, and we watched one. And it was, game I believe it was it. America versus the USA versus Japan, and um, Japan were dominating because they are masters of small ball. Yeah. Like, like because, base hit, base hit, base hit, base hit. Just because. Not I, don't swing for the fucking fences. Cause that's what Americans do. Is they're all like, I gotta be like Ben Brute and Johnny Big Hitman. <laughs> but yeah. So like, uh, and lately I've been watching a lot more uh, minor league baseball than major league baseball because I can actually watch the damn games. Like I can go. I could get actual tickets to go watch. A Rumble Ponies game, um, and I've started a collection of. It's like a vaudeville act. Um, I have a I have a collection of minor league baseball hats, like where I've been buying I've been buying the field caps from teams who have uh, logos that I like. Like this is the Amarillo Sod Poodles. Right here. Um, can I target this asshole, please? Ow. You can tell me they dunked in baseball, I believe you. Sod Poodles, yes. It's a nickname for prairie dogs. Just like the... Like, hold on, let me... I can go get my... I can, I'll go get the entire collection. Obtain collection. Falconer boots. Are those better than the boots I'm wearing? Oh, but the Gurm Warrior boots sure are. They are pretty heavy, though. I got a couple over here. Does this put me into fucking yop super fat rolling? The question is, can I remember where all of these teams are? Yeah, I can't wear these. Yet. Who dare? It's time for it's time for my pop quiz. So this is this is a Rumble Ponies hat. Uh, this is it's one of their field alternates. This this hat I really like because it uses a new like mesh material that is not going to show up in camera at all, but. It uses this new mesh material that I really like, and I hope just Ow. all field caps start moving to that. So that's Rumble Ponies. Ow. That Binghamton Rumble Ponies. This is the Eerie Sea Wolves. Ow. They, they go a woo. This is an alternate. Ah, the pigs. <laughs> this isn't their primary hat, but I like it. It's got a new. It, it got a. It got a, a woo. So we got that one. Let's see what's this one. This is the Benoit Sky Carp here. Which you might think, why, why bird though? <laughs> um, Sky Carp is a nickname for a non-migratory goose that is native to Wisconsin. 
um, and they named it. They named their team after it when they were doing a rebrand. They named their team after them because the town uh, wanted to get across the, the, t the town wanted to get across this idea like people like it here so much they don't want to leave, right? And so they named it after a non-migratory goose that just stays there. Um, how did I? How did I not fat roll before? Well, I am fat rolling. I'm just not super fat rolling, which is practically unmanageable. Um, oh, what is this team name? Because this is this is absolutely an alternate. Crap. I might have to look this one up. I'm forgetting what this team name is, but this is an alternate. I like it. Surf Dog. Surf, surf Dog, good boy. Now, I don't think that Mimic has anything useful. I also favor hats that have good colors. This is a, this is a custom embroidered hat I got that features the logo of my team. The uh, controller tape war bunnies. I'm very proud of this design that I did. Uh, this is the Rocket City Trash Pandas. They're down in Alabama. Or did I say did I say trash? Yeah, trash pandas. They're raccoons. Yes, I did that one. Wasn't there a summon sign in one of these tents? What? I seem to remember a summon sign being one of these tents. Uh, let's see. This is the. This is the Daytona Tortugas. I like this one. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of big letter logos, but this one's got the turkle in it. And it, it's cute. I like hold on, I'm gonna tilt it so it catches more of the light. Um Unfortunately I can't some of the a cup when you buy fitted so these are all fitted caps, which means that the back is like this, which is what they wear on the field. Field caps, they tend to be more expensive. Each one of these is about forty dollars. They tend to be more expensive, but um, they're also really high quality. They last a long time, um, so they're the ones that I tend to get. But the problem with fitted hats is they come in like I wear a six and seven eighths, but not every six and seven eighths is made the same. So sometimes they come in and they're a little snug. Sometimes they come in and they're a little on the loose side. And this one, unfortunately is a little snug, so it's not super comfy to wear, so I don't wear it around a whole lot. It shows up on stream every now and then. This is... I can't remember the town it's from, but this is the Medusas. Get cheese, bitch. It's, it's jellyfish. I like the colors on this one. They're, it's very unusual. Yeah, just like shoe sizes. Get the feeling of turtle struggling in pot plastic. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. This is another Rumble Ponies hat. This is from their this is from their Marvel. I'm, all, I'm shaky for some reason. I'm shaky for some reason, he said, having consumed a venti cappuccino for or not a venti coffee from Starbucks earlier and then a Red Bull. Uh, the entire MILB did a did a Marvel crossover a while back called Guardians of the Diamond and this was where all the logos got like a superhero glow up and this was the Rumble Ponies. Um, so unfortunately this is another one that came in really snug. Of all the hats that I've got this is the only one that is so snug that I can't wear it. Like it's just it's just too small. I might ask uh, I might ask Oz about it and find out if he can get me I have a friend who works at the Rumble Ponies. I might find out if he could get me another one of these and see if I can get one that's wearable. Because I was kind of bummed that this one is was that snug. Uh, this one is the Hartford Yard Goats. Oh, what the fuck? Uh-oh. What happened? Bullshit. Oh, <laughs> boo! This is, the, this is the Hartford Yard Goats. I've also tried to get hats in a variety of colors so they're not all just, like, navy, you know... <laughs> Um, so, and, uh, the Rumble Ponies is my team, yes, they're, they're the local team, uh, 
the Rumble Pony Stadium is like half an hour away and I can get tickets there for really cheap or free because I know a dude now which is cool he was like yeah if you ever want tickets just let me know like he's like I can get you like right behind the plate if you want it like fucking yes. uh this is the pelicans but I can't remember what city they're from so but I like this one it's very rainbowy this was from uh, this was from a. This isn't their. This is an alternate logo. This was from a special event where uh, the various teams were had came up with alternate logos and designs to uh, showcase and honor uh, cultures and stuff that were important to their team or location. And for the Pelicans, it was a pride thing, so they got rainbowy colors. Uh, this is the sea unicorns. Where are they from? Oh, I know this one. Come on, Ark. Ah, I'm gonna beat. My I'm gonna kick myself for this later. But this is the sea unicorns. They're like narwhals. I like the I like the navy and yellow color scheme. You don't see yellow a lot in sports designs, honestly. So. I like that one. This one's a little snug too, so I don't wear it a whole lot. Um, this one is the Flying Squirrels. Again, this is a more recent hat. I'm not, I can't remember the city off the top of my head, but this is the Flying Squirrels. Uh, hats with animals. You may have noticed that all of these hats have animals in them. And this is the, this is the Amarillo Sod Poodles. And I have another Rumble Ponies hat oh. around here somewhere, which is Good night, Cobalt. which was my my first minor league field cap, but I don't know where it is off the top of my head. But it's around here somewhere. Have a good sleep, Cobalt. Thanks for coming and hanging out. I think I might know where it is. <laughs> I've never heard of sleep referred to as horizontal existence. I've never heard of sleep. Uh oh. Through the realm of the spoders. Oh, I've had insomnia. Uh oh. I hope I didn't use it again. Oh, Good night. Good night. Ding 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 ding. I might have another one upstairs. Hold on. Oh, well, let's try. That's really fucking good against him. Ow! Douche! I don't have a lot of So... Hey, Magus! Face! <laughs> so... Face. Since I can't do hairstyles, I do hats. This is so. This is the primary Rumble Ponies design. This is the first minor league baseball hat. Uh, this is the first minor league baseball hat that I purchased. It is my comfiest hat because it's been well worn in. I'm gonna switch to it. Fucking dealt with. You could do bald, but continue to lie to us. No. The capital. <laughs> the issue, the issue I have, and I, I mentioned this the other day, is that 
I... My, my gender identity is not on the super masculine side. I'm, I'm cis male, but I'm not like... Macho. I, I really am not super into macho either. So... But... Losing... When you start losing your hair, you hit a point where the only hairstyle that looks good is like cut really short and if you think that there are other hairstyles that work when you're losing your hair you're fooling yourself I mean I think there are hairstyles that work it just depends on what you're going for right <laughs> like Gallagher <laughs> like I don't think Colin Mockery would be as appealing as he is if he was just bald he would look like a weird thumb man, kind of eerie. Well, but the fact that he has a little hair well, kind of makes him more friendly looking, right? Yes. But it's not. But that's not a look that's gonna make you look impressive or something that's gonna get people handsome. horny. Yeah. Or it's not gonna make people get horny for you unless they're into that. Like that's their fetish or whatever. Like if you're not gonna go, like I don't shave my head because I'm not into that. Um. But like, Any friends. you know, if you if you're running out of hair on top in particular, just like take it from Picard, okay? Picard, like if you want to know how to deal with hair with God not having very much hair, look to Picard. He's your he's the dude you want to mo model yourself after. Um. So. Oh, you got, you got pyromancies. Yeah. All right. I did not. I was too busy showing off my hats to. Well, I got them a long time ago. I just didn't start using them. I've been now. showing off my hats for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, I've grown a whole beard and I'm 75 years old. Um, so right. it's, it's not a, it's not a touchy subject, Ferret. It's not a, it's not something where anymore where I'm like, oh, like I've, I have coped with it. Um, I've I've come to terms with it. That's the phrase I'm looking for. So it's not it's not a sensitive subject or anything. Um, but like you know, like I was like I was saying yesterday, like uh, a lot of times when you hear a lot of times when you hear talk about like losing your hair, they they'll say like it feels you know. It can be it can be hard for men because it can feel like they're losing their manliness or virility, and I'm like, no, quite the opposite. Um, I don't see myself as particularly butch or macho. Like that's not that's not how it, my personality, right? Um, so, but really short cropped hair is definitely a more masculine look, right? So there's a sort of dysmorphia there because it's like this doesn't look this this does not look like me, right? Um but hats do. I've worn I've worn hats forever. You know, like I said, I used to play I used to play baseball. I'm a baseball fan in general. So I've worn baseball caps for a long time. And I I think I look good in baseball caps. I think yeah. I think they work for me. So, you know, so when I started losing my hair, I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go short and wear hats. Intentional appearance, yeah. Plus, I will say, when you start buzzing your head or shaving your head or whatever, you do save money on haircuts. That is nice. Because yeah, you can just do, you can do your just, you can do your own. It's easy. All right, let me uh, start spoder sniping. Despoder the area. People are... might be asking, huh? You've had pyromancies for a long time. Why are you only using them now? I don't know. You tell me why I'm using pyromancies now. <laughs> I 
Oh, you just need to get, um... You could just you just use a oh, get some trimmers with uh Cuz my head's pretty bumpy too. So you you just get trimmers with like the little ex, you know extent like length clips. Those those are fine. If that's something that you wanted to do. Shoulder mullet Shoulders everywhere. Get out of here. Ban no mullets in here. <laughs> Grow a taste gland. <laughs> That's right, I'm throwing shade at chat. Well, that did nothing. Did we ever have a sand clog war where there were chances of rocks? What? <laughs> oh, I'm con I'm so confused. Um, we have been streaming for four and a half hours, so it might be a good time to... maybe swing in and say hi to Ornifax and call it a stream. Cause this is this can is I about where this? I left off. Can I bust this with my bow? I don't know. It it's not gonna kill you though. No, but you could probably bust it with uh, you could probably bust it with uh, pyromancies or there you go. Beautiful. I can't see shit. I can't see shit, Captain. Knock, knock. It's God locked. Damn it. I think you need the Brightstone key. I forget where you get that. Uh, excuse me. Thank you, Ferret. This is, this is, uh, Freya is one of the least pleasant bosses in the game. The Tales games, I haven't played any of those. Those are games that I should probably play at some point. Also, uh, Star Ocean is one that I've wanted to dip into. Cause that's a that's a series that was like it was like on Genesis and then PlayStation. It really never touched the Nintendo, and we were we were Nintendo kids clear up through the '64. So Star Ocean, we kind of missed Star Ocean, and I've heard that Star Ocean is pretty good. What the fuck? I'm so lost right now. God, stop it with your sass. What are we looking for? Uh, the other area where horn effects is. Oh, go in there. Or no, no, not there. Other way. Other way. This one. The one that I was just in. Um. Right? Climb stairs. Cause this takes me up here. And then... Oh man, I haven't... Good old RPG Maker XP. Um... Go out door. Hey, there's an item here. Get item. See, so because that way is to Duke's dear Freya. That door. That's the one that the sand came out of and is locked on the other side. Alright, drop down. I get lost here too, but what are your what are the door options? Got that one. Because there's a door where... Oh, go into the sand one. This one right here. Go up. Hang a right. Hang a right? Stab? Secrets? I thought there was a... I could have sworn there was an exit in here. Oh, it's right there. Oh. <laughs> Do a little. There we go. Oh, spoders. Do 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 spoders. Do 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 spoders. Blow up the spoders. Do do. <laughs> you keep your distance, sir. More fireballs. Got camera. 
Please. Oh, hey, summon. Yeah. Can't target non-aggressive spoders. Which is a pain. I think this is where we'll end. Boss battle. Oh, we've been streaming for over. We've been streaming for over four hours, so. Fuck your door. Fuck this exploding lizard. Oh, there you go. Goodbye. Nerd. That. All right, so we got ornifacts. Oh, I'm gonna get invaded. But not before I blow this fucker up. Get shat. I'm judging you harshly. No, judge more. Oh. Here he comes. Hi, my name is Bob Judgemore. <laughs> there you are. You got arrows, I got kabooms! Ow, ow, ow. Goodbye! Oh. Word. Wow. Get <laughs> fucked. Do 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 There you are. Watch out. Ow, what? I'm sure that's from something that was robe, and I have no idea what it is. Too many spoders. Alright, so which type of whiz robe are you? There's only one correct answer. Okay. Three spiders. Four spiders. He he is bird robe. The Wind Waker one that you have chosen wisely. Hey, Dragon Bones. Got Dragon Boners, everyone. I liked the ones from Breath of the Wild until I saw art of what they look like under the robe, and then I changed my mind immediately. Sup? <laughs> They're that? horrible. No, I need this. <laughs> What about my tongue? My tongue. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't have any souls to trade. Do, 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 Only sell sorceries. But I got some large titanite shards and shards and a chunk or two. Chunk it up. Hell yeah. I should probably. Don't forget to upgrade your armor. True. Dink. Keep going. Dink. Dink. Don't stop. Dink. Dink. Uh, boots. Well, these aren't even the boots oh, I want to wear. Okay. I'm not sure what boots I want to wear, because I'd like boots with an effect, but it also depends on. The ironclad. Go all ironclad. What are those? Oh, these? Yeah. No, not those, those. Down to the right. Oh, the dark leggings? Yeah, I just picked them up. Neat. Recently. It was from that mimic. You like boops? Who doesn't like boops? Everybody likes boops. I like it when my birds have boops. I like it when my birds have baps. Well, that's what a boop is. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Hey, stuff. Why don't we why don't we call it a stream here? Well, can I find a born for? There isn't one nearby. Really? Yeah. It just goes straight to Duke? Yep. What the fuck? Alright, well then I'll just I think there might be one nearby, but Oh yeah, there is one nearby, but I have no idea how to get to it. And I I went back and forth here for like a couple hours trying to find the stupid thing, and I could not find Boners it. Boners away! High jump boops, Pegasus boops, hover boops, iron boops, speed boopster. Don't Halfway up fired... Uh, I don't... It, it's in one... It's, it's literally right next to Ornifex. 
but I could not fig find. Oh yeah, I remember. Like you see it through a little window. Yeah. Nice. But I can I cannot for the life of me find out how to get there. Seek seek quest. We do a level up. Bear seek seek quest. More stamina, more equip load. I do need a three. I can Although, only do three. Boosting your strength would be good too. More damage, good. I would also like way more stamina. <laughs> mm -hmm. So increase my health a bit, get a bit more stamina. Cause do you have? Have you found souls that you could use to get some? Oh yeah, you got shitloads of souls. From the bonfire, you know. Don't you know? Don't you know? I think that got me one more level up. Bear, see, see, lest this. Yep, one more. Uh, more endurance. Well, I should probably start. A really, ferret? It's my it's my favorite of the three. I mean, you can love something that's terrible. <laughs> that's true, but I don't think it is. Dark Souls One is super primitive at this point. Like, it's very clear that they hadn't really worked out all the kinks yet. And Dark Souls Three, I just. It just didn't click with me. Just like the overall environment and whatnot. Didn't, didn't really do it for me as much. It looks really good though. Um, okay. Farewell! Um. So. Alrighty, so that'll do for tonight. Thank you guys for coming. I think Panda and I are pretty much neck and neck so far. Neither one of us has gotten particularly stuck or... I think you've gone... You've done a little more than I have. Um... I mean, I ended pretty much at the same place you did. I went to Ornifax and then I came back here. Um... I fought the giant, you fought the giant. I can't th think of anything I did that you didn't. I went to... I went to hide... I think we've pretty much done the same shit. At this point. So I think we're... I think we're pretty much neck and neck. Fight the Rat King! See who does it faster! That's... That might be... Cause that was my... That was my next destination was going through the doors of Pharos. I'm... I wasn't heading over to... Do to Freya. I was heading through the doors of Pharos. Pharos. No, wait. I went through doors of Pharos. And then I got the Brightstone. Yeah. So where was I? Oh, I was going... I was going to head over to... You were heading over to the Iron Keep. Iron Keep is where I wanted to go next. Um... But I forget how to... How, I forget how to get to Iron Keep. I'm gonna have to look it up. Anyway, that's my destination. I don't know what Panda plans to do next. If he's just gonna go kill a spoder or what. But for right now, I think we're, we've pretty much just done the same stuff. We're neck and neck. Have a good night, Savage. Have a good night, Savage. Thanks for coming. So, yeah. So, uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, we will be back on Monday. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do a Cleo stream on Monday because I don't know if the hardware that she needs to because we're moving her setup to her living room um, so I don't know if we'll have the hardware that she needs on Monday but if we are we'll let you know uh, if so that'll be 3 p.m. Eastern time and then Panda and I will be back on Monday at 9 30 p.m. for my next uh, session of this so hope that we will see you guys then <clears throat> um, as always, a huge thanks to our Twitch cheers, subscribers, and donators. Your financial support helps us to pay a couple bills every month and means the world to us, so thank you so much for that. And don't forget to check us out on Discord and YouTube. 
I'll slap some links here in the chat. Uh, we've got highlight reels and VODs over on, over on our YouTube channel, so you can check that out. I have a bunch of VODs already uploaded. They, they will go live, I just have to do thumbnails. I'm sorry that they're so far behind, I will get them up. And head over to our Discord, we've got a wonderful community of people who would love to chat with you. So drop by, say hi, and we'll see you guys next time <coughs> on Controller Tape. Good boy. Goodbye.